What's up, everybody? Unfortunately, technology is awesome when it works, but when it doesn't, it really fucking sucks. And I'm so sorry to say that if you listen to us uh, on YouTube or watch us on YouTube, unfortunately, this week's episode is going to have very, very poor quality video um, for about half of the episode. Unfortunately, there was a networking issue that we could not even tell was going on while we're recording over two hours of content to provide for you guys on a weekly basis. And I am still looking into it to see exactly what went wrong. However, the audio quality is the exact same. So if you listen to us on Apple podcast or Spotify, you are not affected by this at all. Unfortunately, Right where it ends up being the worst is during the draft and all the funny stuff and the overrated or underrated. So the video quality is shit. And yes, we know about it. And I do apologize. But I basically had the option of either don't give you guys an episode this week when the episode was great uh, or be able to provide content uh, that you can at least listen to or you can do something I just could not do, which is watch it when it's like makes us look like robots. Um, but I, I figured you guys would at least want an episode. So that's what I did. Uh, thank you guys so much for all your support. We sincerely do appreciate it. I just wanted to give those who do watch us on YouTube a heads up that, uh, yes, we know something's going on. I am looking into it. Uh, but those of you guys who listen to us on uh, the podcast apps, uh, you will not be affected, but, uh, thank you guys for all your support. We sincerely do appreciate it. Enjoy another episode and keep laughing. You assholes. The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? Oh, blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, same. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, as usual, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he is the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, man. What? It's uh, they're they're what? clapping. They're what clapping the for fuck you. do you want? I don't know. It's not I, I heard you say my name, and that just makes me sick. I know, but you're a comedian. You want to tell a joke? No. Okay. Fine. No, I don't. Not right now. You put me in such a horrible <laughs> fucking mood. You've ruined this fucking show already for me, and we're just starting every time. God uh, damn it! And also another uh, funny comedian, funny guy, uh, and member of my family. Uh, we like to call him Fred slash Clayton. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey! There we go. Yeah, they like you too. I mean, they don't. They don't like me. Them. Yeah, they don't. They don't like me very much. So that's uh, you know, it comes with the territory. That's kind of yeah. way it goes. What do you mean very much at all? <laughs> they don't like you at all. Uh huh. Sure, they don't. Uh, but anyways, guys, if this is the very first time you've listened to a Laughing on the Sidelines podcast episode, this is a comedy podcast where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and also inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. In fact, 99.9% of them are targeted towards me, and I'm fine with it. Uh, but this is also an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and make loud noises. So if that's not your thing, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you and goodbye. We got a lot of stuff to go over this week, uh, gentlemen. Uh, we've got some sports. Yeah, so, uh, Clayton's not really a yeah, big. You guys kid. have fun. Yeah, no shit, right? Uh, we do have some sports. Uh, oh, is Clayton of, here? Yeah, Clayton's yeah. here. Uh, Derek's not. Uh, yeah, here. slash Fred. I saw the picture in the back. I uh, thought that was Derek. It's so <laughs> fucking realistic. <laughs> <laughs> that thing's uh, in high def. Right? Yeah, it is. Uh, we've got, uh, yeah, we got some sports news. We've got the ick is back. Uh, we got real it shit. It doesn't have to be. I know it doesn't. Uh, bad advice with Jeremy. Overrated, underrated questions for Guntas. An awesome, awesome draft. And as always, a shitty situation. So uh, tune in. You know what? Yeah. Instead of running that down every week, I think you should just spring it on him. Fucking force it on him. <laughs> okay. You fucking take this material, <laughs> whether you fucking like it or not. Fine. We're not you're not going to be prepped for this. Okay. We're going to fucking spring it on you. You <laughs> fucking take it. Okay. 
Uh, but yeah, before we get to all the fun stuff, uh, we like to talk to uh, talk about what happened to us over the last week. And uh, we don't like to; we just do. We just we just, we just kind of do, I guess. Mm-hmm. That's that's a good point. Uh, but we haven't seen Fred in several weeks. So uh, Wait, what's months? Dude. Months? Never yeah. Months. I mean, you saw him. Yeah, I'm sure you've I, seen him between I, I've seen now, him. but I haven't seen him in forever. I, I've seen him lots. But uh, yeah, man, how's uh, how's I didn't your... see him when I got here. I thought Derek was here. Oh, uh, no, right? No. I mean, hi, Fred. Hey, 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 hey. Nice to see you. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Not now, but I put up with it. Yeah. But you've had a lot, uh, especially the last couple of weeks, you've had kind of a lot of stuff go on, you know? Right. We've had a lot of everything going on the past, oh, yeah. since last time I've been on, a few months. I mm-hmm. mean, we've been to Disney World twice. We're headed back next week. We go back in September. I think it's just time to buy a damn house down there. Jesus. So I'm, I mean, you should. Yeah. What's the deal? You just like Disney a lot? Yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> duh. There's dad. Yeah, it's all, all the all the, the children. There's a overrated, underrated for you. Uh, Disney adults. Have you guys done that one? No. That's a good one. Okay, we'll do that later. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Uh, did that. Uh, taking pilot private pilot classes. I'm going to try and get my private pilot license and so I'm, we can fly to Florida cheaper. Is that so you can fly a plane with your privates? <laughs> I mean, they do make those. <laughs> sure, it's uh, I can't afford them. Yeah, I, I I once knew they, a guy who could throw a paper a, airplane with his dick. They require a three inch minimum. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> he must be at least as tall to ride exactly, the ride kind of thing. Exactly, okay. pretty yeah. screwed on that. You can't deal. put a seat belt on that thing. No, it's like a wild stallion. <laughs> mm-hmm. Not without a booster pony, seat, whatever. right? Do they make dick booster seats? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I they no have reason to. not to. They have to. Sure, mm-hmm. I think so. I figured you'd be the one to know. Yeah. You know what? I'm, <laughs> I'm going to go home research this. You guys let me know how the fucking report back. Goes, right? yeah. If not, multi million dollar invention idea for uh, yep. for Jeremy. Yeah, bingo. Uh, but yeah, you got some. Yeah, we had uh, uh, we had a lot of fun over this last weekend. Yeah, yeah. This last weekend, uh, our sister and her husband were in town, and then my uh, spouse's brother came to town. Mm-hmm. So we all hung out Friday night at my house and played craps in the basement. Fuck yeah, we did. What, what do we have, five different tequilas we were sipping on all night? Yep. Eating crickets? Mm, yeah. yeah. So, There's video evidence of I that. I saw that video. Mm-hmm. Didn't care for it. You yeah. want some crickets? Yeah. <laughs> they, they do go real good. Are we, we're, are we talking about that cheap-ass cell phone company? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. What else would there be? Yeah. They're, are they okay. still around? <sighs> Maybe? Again, I'll go home. <laughs> <laughs> You're asking me a lot yeah, of go. shit that I should not have any reason to know. Fair. I, I don't have. I can sign a full fucking contract for a cell phone right. at this point in my life. There was a time when I had a cricket phone. I'll be honest, but right. uh, yeah. yeah. Now I got to get a jitterbug. Yeah, <laughs> getting, up, getting up there in age, man. Mm-hmm. Now four. I just numbers. like those big numbers. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, other other new news that I thought was pretty cool about you, uh, you because of the gas prices being so fucking high. <laughs> Got yourself a scooter. I sure shit did, man. And it's oh probably the goofiest God. looking thing you can own. But <laughs> what'd you get, a Vespa? I wish. <laughs> Hell no, it's what? a it's a Yamaha Majesty. Ooh, Google that one. That, <laughs> if I, okay, um, if scooters had a pride parade, uh huh. I was just gonna the, say be that chairman. sounds gay. Yes. That just sounds. <laughs> The the more noble and distinguished you can give a name for a scooter, <laughs> the worse it's going to be. This is probably right. one step up from a razor scooter. I'm guessing. Yeah, You're basically, okay. basically. You but just drive down there. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly how it's nice. Yeah, you've yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is it a pull start? <laughs> no, no, it cranks. Uh, but yeah, weird. so I'll be doing sixty miles a gallon of work. So right, there you go. I don't care what I look like. It just takes who you hits on me? Have to get there. <laughs> Does it get over fifty? Oh yeah, I hit seventy today on the way to work. What downhill? <laughs> I mean, wind blowing. How, how many? How, how big is the motor? How many cc? Four hundred cc. Oh, so you got to have a motorcycle license? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep, I got a motorcycle license. You, this isn't your standard DUI scooter then. No. No, but it no. looks a lot like it though. Okay. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. Anything else? I'm sure there is, but yeah. we'll get onto the show. They don't care about my life. No, you know, no, they like I, you. I, I happen to notice uh, the vehicle you drove to get here. Uh, <laughs> maybe you wouldn't have to worry about gas if you didn't drive an absolute <laughs> fucking well, trailer house of a well, vehicle. Well, report to the spouse on that one. Jesus That's hers. Christ. <laughs> you know, it's like it's, you're driving a tractor trailer without a fucking trailer. They oh, fused yeah. it together. <laughs> 
Sure did. <laughs> that might be the first time. Do you mind if I say what it is? Oh, sure. go for it. It's the first time I've ever seen a Wagoneer without wood trim. <laughs> oh, well, the wood on the trim's outside. on the inside. Right. Yeah. Well, yep. you, yeah. I didn't get inside. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed or not. I didn't just. I don't just jump in every Wagoneer I see. <laughs> no, not no, unless I'm summoned or yeah. propositioned. Oh, yeah. That's where you find the fun times. Well, are you uh, are you ready for the uh, the live show in October? I am. Gonna, I am. I'm really excited there? you guys invited me to that. I'm yeah. really excited you guys are getting a, a big crowd selling tickets for that. So. Yeah. Surprise. Can't wait to meet everyone. So, you know? Surprisingly enough. I know. It'll be the first time that all of us will be in the same place because uh, everybody's going to be there. Right. Right? I think. I'm busy that weekend. Turns oh, out. Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah, sorry. I've there got, are people I, flying to see you specifically. I'm actually leaving town to Gee, not see them. Refund? <laughs> I, I'm practicing avoidance is what I'm doing. It's something that my, my therapist says I should do. No. Oh. No, that's all right. You know how therapists are always recommending that you practice avoidance. Yes, Do not avoiding. confront your problems head on. <laughs> right. If some, if there's something that irrationally scares you, get the fuck away from it and be afraid. That's right. And I am afraid of teenagers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so my week was uh, very similar to Fred's. Uh, obviously, I was there. Uh, but yeah, we had a we had a lot of fun. I like to think his was a little better. Uh, probably. Way better. I mean, I got I a mean, scooter. Uh, yeah, yeah, he, he got a scooter. Scooters did you get, Scotty? <laughs> Zero. You, you just got that stupid fucking nickname, Scooter. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> that you gave yourself. <laughs> no, actually, they called me that in high school. Nobody fucking called Nobody. you that. Not in any good way, anyway. <laughs> Fine. They, they were basically saying, guy who looks like he should be riding a scooter. <laughs> right. Um, but no, I, uh, I hung out with Fred, played craps. That was a lot of fun. I, uh, I didn't even know about it, but I went to AJ's sports bar and grill over there on the East side. How did you not know you went to AJ sports? Bar? I did not know it was, it, this is the last weekend that they will be called AJ sports bar and grill. It got bought out. What, and what so is it now? BJ's? They haven't, re- they haven't released Just it yet. AJ's Sports Bar? They're no. going to get rid of the grill? <laughs> They're going to get rid of the grill, yeah. <laughs> They're going to auction that fucking grill off. Fuck no, this grill. No, and, and they, like, their pizza is extremely underrated. Like, that's kind of what they're known for. And they have two locations, but apparently they were bought out by somebody that owns, like, part of the uh, PBA. Here's how it, underrated it is. I don't know what pizza is. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, it wow. made me forget what pizza is. That's <laughs> that's how underrated it is. It's very how, underrated. Uh, what, what, what style of pizza are they talking about? We're talking deep dish. We're talking cracker crust. What are we? It, it is uh, kind of like hand tossed, but they're fucking huge. It's oh, like okay. they're huge pizzas. They had one called the dome that you can really fit through a uh, single door. You had to have a double door in order to walk it into your house. Double D. All right. Yeah, double mm-hmm. D. Double D pizza. Uh, but no, I didn't realize it was their last weekend, so uh, they gave me a menu. I was so very nice of them because that's kind of my hangout, uh, but I forgot it at the bar, so I didn't get to keep I, it. I think they Smooth. were just... Huh? Uh, Smooth. I'm, yeah. I'm going to be honest with you, Scotty. I They hand me a menu everywhere that I go as far as restaurants right. go. Yeah, uh, Those aren't those for keeping. <laughs> Uh, they were just trying to take your fucking order. Yeah, yeah, no, they they offered me the to let me take it home, and I uh, I didn't get to because I forgot it. Um, but uh, then I went to a pool party for work, which was a lot of fun. Uh, generally, that starts with a P, and that yeah, with a T and that, that's no, right. No wait, what trouble? Yeah, starts with a T. That rhymes with that, P. That, right. Stands for pool. But, uh, was it, were you like up on the pool table or no, uh, every, every year that we've gone to this thing, uh, at least for the last like three or four years, uh, it's an above ground pool, but there is like a garage right next to the pool. And, and we you get together and you throw pool tables in it. No, we jump, that's not helpful. To those jump, people. Do they know you're doing this? Yeah. No, we jump off of the fucking garage. Uh, but this year the person onto the pool table into yeah. the, into the pool, into the above ground pool, Jeremy. Most pool tables are above ground. Yeah, that's true. Uh, but the slate's kind of heavy. Uh, and it yeah. doesn't break your fall very well. Um, no shit. I don't know why you're doing this still. <laughs> yeah, no shit. I, I haven't understood a fucking thing that you've said so far. <laughs> uh, but this year, he the person putting it on legitimately like hid the ladders so we would not get up onto the onto the garage. Uh, but we still figured out a way to fucking do it. Uh, you got to do it. It's like a seven-foot tall garage. Right? Uh-huh. Yeah, it's, it's pretty it's, easy. To... It, it's not too hard. Yeah, you just got to get on whenever, some shoulders. Whenever me and the old lady feel a little kinky, we like to play hide the ladder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, a one-step or two. Oh, this is a seven-footer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Black. But the other Plays thing, basketball. Uh, we're in talks to having a special guest on uh, in the in the near future, um, and we're not going to tell you who, but keep your eyes peeled. It's Fred. Yeah. Uh, and by the near future, it. we mean now. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Tonight. Uh, come Wednesday, he'll right. be on the show. That's right. 
Uh, but anyways, yeah, uh, keep your eyes peeled for that. Uh, hopefully we drop that as long as uh, schedule and stuff like that uh, ends up working out. So, uh, Jeremy, how was your week? Oh, God. Awful. Uh, great. Starts off well. My, uh, my fucker-in-law left. Yay! Um, Woo! That's great news. I know you're so happy for that. Well, he left us with a parting gift. Um, oh, nice. When he came out, of course, uh, he gets out here and he's fucking sneezing and coughing and shit. Uh, I've been fighting this cold like for three weeks now. Then delay your fucking <laughs> trip, you jerk off. <laughs> so, of course, uh, uh, just under one week later, I start feeling a scratch in the back of my throat last on Tuesday night of this last week. And mm -hmm. by Wednesday, I am just fucking miserable. Uh, you know, who doesn't love to take three of their fucking vacation days sitting at home, <laughs> just absolutely dying Twiddle of dicking. sickness? Yeah. You but, sounded awful. Yeah. Uh, and I felt worse than I sounded. Wow. Uh, it, I mean, it was just the whole body ache. Just, I mean, it wasn't COVID. I, I took two at home tests, but um, I, I mean, with water. Yeah. Even, yeah, swallow them whole. <laughs> wow. Uh, and so that's hopefully supposed to prevent me from getting COVID. Awesome. Our, and uh, so, anyways, um, I felt quite a bit better by Saturday morning, which was great. Good news for me, because uh, that night, uh, my wife and I had tickets to go see Patton Oswalt at oh, yeah. the uh, Orpheum Theater. Uh, the bad news is that then my wife started in with her sickness. <laughs> so <laughs> she couldn't go. And um, I am not going to lie to you. I... I have the laziest, most worthless fucking friends in the world, <laughs> and yet every one of them had shit going on this weekend. I could not literally give that ticket away. I feel eighth, so bad. Eighth row fucking tickets, uh. $75 tickets, and I could not give them away. I called fucking obscure local comedians <laughs> who I haven't talked to in four fucking years. <laughs> who had forgotten I ever existed, which is hard, you know, given the fucking impression that I left on. Right. But, uh, you know, uh, nobody could go. So uh, that's He called it. me. Yeah. And I couldn't go. Believe it or not, you were fairly high on the list. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to run down a list of my friends because I don't want to brag about how many fucking <laughs> friends I got and just how far down that list you were. But I know a lot of people that come after you even. <laughs> wow. And you're, you're always down. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I wound up going to that by myself. Um, okay. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Let's get into it. I want to start by telling you about this. I want to start off by saying, I know we avoid politics on this mm, show. Yeah. Uh, my feelings on what happened at the show in no way is a reflection of my personal political beliefs, but it does have to do with politics. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not going to give my opinion. I'm going to keep my personal opinion on the subject to myself. It has nothing to do with what happened at the show. Um, we go there. Uh, he had a, a pretty good opener, Orlando something. Bloom? No, I wish it was Bloom. Damn. He would have been great. I no, know. this was a... Uh, I couldn't tell if he was black or dark Hispanic. Okay. Um, but, you know, pretty fucking funny. Went on, did 20 minutes or so. Um Got the crowd getting into it, and then here comes Patton, the guy who's there there to see. Now, uh, unless you've been living under a rock, uh, this show is on, on Saturday. Mm -hmm. um, of course, you know that Friday the Supreme Court announced that they overturned the famous Roe versus Wade uh, ruling. So um, Patton comes out, and for like 30 seconds, he's going on about how beautiful the the theater is, which it is if you like shitholes. Uh, <laughs> the, the Orpheum Theater fucking sucked. I mean, it's got that old world feel because it's fucking old. <laughs> right. They haven't updated. They still have the old theater seats, like movie. It used to be a movie theater way back in the day. Yeah. And it's still got those old, like, slidey, foldy metal chairs that are <laughs> just basically aching to give you hemorrhoids. That's <laughs> They're the fucking worst. And the place is so ill-conceived the way it's set up the concession stand is right there you have to walk through the people in line at the concession stand to get into oh, yeah. the theater mm -hmm. it's fucking stupid uh anyways um then he goes so 
I am uh, just going to do an hour that is meant to be completely silly. You know, I'm not here to offend anybody or anything like that, but I'm just going to say this. If you're one of the people who celebrated Roe versus Wade getting overturned, just know, and he leans in, I fucking despise you. <laughs> no joke in his face, no nothing. Now, again, has nothing to do with my view on, on that subject. I may have echoed that sentiment or I may be vehemently opposed. Doesn't fucking matter. My reaction to it was my heart just fucking sank. To see this guy who I have absolutely all the respect for as an artist, who's one of the most creative guys, best storytellers, has this incredible command of the English language. He can turn a phrase like nobody's business, tell a story like nobody's business. He just His references are, are unparalleled. To hear him just shamelessly pander mm -hmm. like that, to, to which, of course, all the people who were on his side, about two-thirds of the audience, gave him a standing ovation. Um. Here's my problem with that. Uh, it now basically took a room full of, it, it holds about 1,300 people. There. Mm -hmm. yep. um, basically now it took a room full of people who were strongly united as Team Pat and Oswald, and you've pointed out exactly who's who on a very, very divisive mm -hmm. issue. Yep. Uh, and his, his spite for the people who didn't applaud what he said came through in the rest of his act. Plus, now there's this, like, adversarial tension between the people who stood up and applauded and those who didn't that just permeated through the whole show. And it just killed the whole fucking mood. Oh, uh, he just basically wow. cast a whole dark cloud over his whole thing right from the get-go. I don't know that that's what he was necessarily meaning to do, but, you know, I think he was just angry. He feels the way that he feels on the subject and wanted to get it off his chest. But it served to be incredibly divisive on a subject that's very, very emotionally fueled. Um, that is over a, an issue that's very fresh. Yeah. Uh, and it's one of those things that could have turned violent, especially given the people who are very angry about it mm -hmm. now know that they outnumber the other people two to one. And the guy who's running the whole fucking show has basically granted them permission to throw shade at those fucking people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you know, he set the whole fucking tone for it immediately and it, it really sucks shit. And, uh, you know, so you're looking at 450 people about that. He basically just kind of alienated people who paid, you know, like I say, 75 bucks a seat, cheapest tickets were 50. These are people who, despite maybe political differences with him, came out, supported him, you know, helping him to ensure that he stays a multimillionaire to do his fucking clown act. Mm -hmm. And yeah. yeah, he basically just said, if you don't see with me eye to eye on this, I fucking hate you. That's fine. And, and yeah, that, that's that I really lost a lot of respect for the guy. Yeah, that really that, sucks. That really sucked. He, he ruined the whole fucking show. Yeah. And that's, that's the main reason I think all of us, I mean, we all differ. All, of course we all, do. All of us. Oh, yeah. And we don't need to go into it. But when you bring politics into a into a space that it doesn't need to be we've talked about it being in sports we've talked about it why we don't talk about it on on a comedy show is because it's very divisive and it is it makes people vehemently despise you regardless of what yes. they know about you, the rest of your entire life and that's why we have always been consistent and say you know we'll we'll maybe have a jab that's kind of there but it's not really anything N no political. And, and, and that was the thing he didn't even like disguise it in the guise of a joke yeah it was just a literal i hate you i yeah. despise you and you know it's one of those things with with him a guy like him is he's never made any bones about it that he's a left-leaning person mm -hmm. but he's always been a very common sense guy who when people on his side go too far he's one of the first to call them out on their bullshit and he's you know he's been very critical of uh political correctness and all that, that yeah. it goes way too far. So, you know, as a result, he tends to keep a, at least a small portion of moderate conservative fan base. Sure. And he just shit on him. Yeah. And that's the thing is, is that when you do, when you bring politics into mm -hmm. that space, you now have divided your, your uh, market. 
Oh yeah, he's yeah, made yeah. political jokes that I don't agree with before, but I can respect the sure. the intelligence that he put into crafting the joke. Yeah, the joke yeah. is still funny, even if I don't agree with the point that he's trying to make. This was just this wasn't a joke. This wasn't a joke. This was this was literal hate statement, and that I sucks. I was I was shocked, and it just really fucked up the whole show. And I probably won't ever go see him live again. Wow, that sucks. That does. And I, and I know that that really sucks because I know how much you actually really liked the guy. I, he's been a huge inspiration to me and my comedy <clears throat> and my ability to tell a story. I learned a lot from watching him. Yeah, and that really does suck. Yeah. Well, all right. Well, let's pick this some bitch back up. Let's no, get, let's dwell more uh, on Roe versus Wade. Okay. How about let's let's debate the merits of this? <laughs> okay. okay? Uh, but no, we've got a lot of stuff to get to. But before we get to the fun stuff, uh, we got to tell you about our sponsor, Manscaped.com. Let me ask you a question. You got Bush? Not anymore. You sure shit better not, because Manscaped.com makes excellent products that help keep a man. Or women groomed down in that in special area. Come on. I know, uh, but the, the it truth will that, work on a woman. It sure will, but you know, it was, well, it it works seventy eight percent as well. Yeah, seventy eight percent to every hundred percent man gets. Here's the thing: there's things like that are becoming trendier for women, and that is to go, you know, get it waxed. And and guys don't fucking do that shit. Get the lawnmower four I used it yesterday actually, and I gotta say, it looks a lot bigger. I'm just going to be honest with you. And a lot less... Like uh, centimeters or millimeters? Uh, we're talking millimeters, man. <laughs> but um, but no, they make excellent products to help keep a guy groomed. Um, like I said, the Lawnmower 4.0, it is an excellent product. It has now an adjustable LED light, a docking station, so you can mm-hmm. put that thing on your counter so all of your guests that use your bathroom know that you take care yeah. of yourself. That's very important. They may try to sniff the, the, the blade, but that's okay. Yeah, there was a time when that would have been, you know, very taboo. You don't keep that outside. Now you Not, fucking brag you about show it. Show it mm-hmm. off. Uh, but they have other excellent products like uh, the Weed Whacker. So that's for your mm-hmm. nose hair, ear hair. It ha- They have an excellent cologne, which is uh, refined. Um, it is. It, I mean, all it, their products. It, it is refined, and it's named refined. It's amazing. It's what a refined gentleman would wear. That's right. You know, if they have any fucking taste mm-hmm. about you, if you're not some fucking sag-ass douchebag, right. you know, be distinguished. Yeah. Be refined. And even better, they've got products for now. Uh, I know summer is kind of coming to an end, but it's still going to be hot out there. Make sure that you use the ball toner and but ball deodorant. What the fuck are you talking about? It is June. I know, but it's coming. Uh, that's, kids are getting yeah, ready to go here, back to school. Here, here in three months, summer will be over. <laughs> Just three short months. <laughs> summer starts in June, dude. <laughs> well, the four, first day of summer. The 4th of July is coming up. You know, you yeah, might. Yeah, that comes up. after June. That's not here yet. That's right. Yeah. That's not, that doesn't signify the end of summer. That's kind of the official middle. Okay. Okay, whatever. Not, in fact, a little bit before. It's not even the fucking all-star break yet. Here's the thing. It's going to be hot outside. It Use is. the ball deodorant and the ball toner. Yeah, especially if you go to fancy places like this AJ's place. Yeah, exactly. Have um, them give you menus. That's right. Uh, Did you sh- order that menu? No. <laughs> I just asked Are menus it. on the menu there? They are, yeah. All right. Yeah, not anymore, though, because they closed. Well... Are uh, they officially closed yet? Yeah, they, they closed down. Okay. They're doing renovations and everything uh, for next week. But anyways, that's a, that's a completely different company. No, we're talking about Manscaped.com. Go check AJ's them out. AJ's done No. They didn't. That's not what they left the business for was to buy Manscaped. No. I thought, okay. Believe it or not, I though. I was confused. All of their employees. What do you think, Derek? Use Shit! It. <laughs> <laughs> it's Fred. Anyway, She's stuck with me again. Make sure you go and check out manscaped.com. Use the promo code sidelines. Get 20 or 20% off of your order and free shipping. That helps you out, helps us out, and lets Manscaped know that we are reading these commercials word for word. Yeah. Yeah. Now we got a lot of stuff to get to. Uh, let's start with there's some major championships that happened. We had the Colorado Avalanche win the Stanley Cup. It's their third overall in their uh, their brief. Uh, history was that last night? Because last I saw, there was one game to go. Nope, that is last night. They uh, they cleaned house. Well, then it was last night's. That was I said, that. was that last night? And you said, nope, it was last night. Oh, so, <laughs> so fuck you, you Scotty. <laughs> Quit. You're fucking gaslighting me, yeah, man. Sorry, my bad. Next thing you know, you're going to tell me is Derek's not here. Yeah, Derek's not here. No. <laughs> but no, they ended up winning their, Stanley, their third Stanley Cup, uh, which was pretty neat. I feel like every fucking year, whenever they hoist that son of a bitch, somebody drops that motherfucker. And sure as shit, they dented the side of it whenever they were getting ready to take a group photo. 
Um, but I was still pretty pumped. I was glad that because uh, I think Tampa Bay had won the the two years previous, and uh, yeah, they ended their uh, their dynasty run, I guess you could say. Yeah, that is one of those trophies that okay, the the players, you know, of course they worked their whole career hoping to to win that thing. And then they have absolutely zero respect for it once they get it. I mean, they basically fuck it. I mean, pretty much. I mean, they, hey, let's see if I can stand up to drag behind our car. Every single player gets one they, day. They get 24 hours mm-hmm. with that cup to do with it, whatever they oh, want to do. that cup has been fucked. <laughs> you know so it has. It's, it's just covered in cum film. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. you know they don't wash it before they pass it off. Fuck no. But no, in all seriousness, that is the oldest championship trophy in uh, sp- uh, competing sports history. Do they – is it the same one from yeah, they year just, to year? Yeah, and they keep they, – they take the bands off of them, so they, they have all of the teams – um, but just to make sure that this trophy doesn't get just ridiculously tall, they do eventually take them off and take them, I believe, to the Hall of Fame, whatever town the NHL Hall of Fame oh, yeah. is, and they keep the with a band. So your your name, is, you don't get like a permanent Stanley Cup to keep in your trophy room. You, no. It's not a wow. No, you just get a picture of it. All right. Huh? Yeah. But anyways, I thought Polaroid, that was pretty cool. I'm assuming. Yeah, that's nice. it. Nice. Uh, but then also another championship was won. Uh, the College World Series, Ole Miss, ends up beating Oklahoma. And there was a little bit of a controversial call that I have now been uh, told, or at least I, I don't know the, if the validity of this or whatever. But Was that controversial call your decision to bring this up during the show like anybody gives a fuck? No, uh, no I think it's a good okay. conversation. So here's the deal. Um, like there was a bunt uh, by a player for Oklahoma. They were, I believe, runners on, uh, I think, second and third. Okay. Uh, long story short, he laid down a bunt, so you got a squeeze play, and uh, with one out, uh, the pitcher ends up fielding it, throwing it to first base, and the base runner was inside. He was on the inside, but still on the line. He was still in the baseline, but he was right. on the inside. He inadvertently kind of took out the first baseman's glove because the throw was also a bad throw. And so because he was inside the baseline, they called the runner out and they took away the run and put everybody back to where they were. Okay. Do you, th- I mean, is that correct? Uh, without having, without seeing it, uh, I can't say for sure. What I do know is just typically if you run down to first on a ground ball and you stay to the inside of of that line, mm-hmm. they call you out. Yeah, that's just true. Anyway, so I guess once he started and stayed to the inside of that line, technically he should have been out anyway. Yeah. But anyways, uh, it, was a, it was a pretty well fought. I would have treated it like an infield fly. Okay. Uh, but yeah, uh, fun, fun uh, College World Series. Congratulations to Ole Miss. Uh, I paid attention. I actually paid attention to this whole World Series. It was a lot of fun. So, uh, congratulations to them. Uh, big breaking news in football: Arch Manning signs with the University of Texas, and he's a junior in high school. Uh, they got a lot of hype behind him. Obviously, he's a Manning, uh-huh. right? Mm-hmm. Um, do you think it, uh, he's going to be any good? I, I haven't seen him. Uh, I can tell you that it is very unlikely he will live up to the hype. Um, it, is this Peyton's boy? God or is man. this Archie's? <laughs> yeah, this is Archie's. <laughs> this he is, waited yeah. till the fourth boy to name him Arch. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Is this Cooper's kid? <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I, it may even be one of the other brothers. Um, one of The third brother, I think. But I'm not 100% sure. So. Cooper? Yeah, because I can tell you, as college players especially, both Peyton and uh, other Manning. Uh, mm-hmm. Why can't I think of his fucking name? Yeah, <laughs> Eli. Know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, they were just so incredibly celebrated in college. Eli didn't live up to the hype for sure. But it seems like whenever you get this, uh, it happened with um, Chris Sims. Phil Sims's kid, he came to Texas. And they had a, a starting quarterback there, Major Applewhite, who's a, I think he's an offensive coordinator. He might be a head coach somewhere now. Mm-hmm. Um, but he was just kind of a scrappy guy, like six foot one. And here comes Chris Sims, right? Six foot five, just this pedigree, this lineage. I, I can really tell you're interested in looking at your fucking phone like that. Are those birds still angry? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Um, so anyways, uh, you know, he comes in. 
And there was just too much pressure. I mean, yeah. he had all the raw talent, and he just couldn't seem to grasp the system. And he didn't wasn't the official starter till his senior year. Mm -hmm. This this guy who was far less talented but had a better head for the game, Major Applewhite, continued being the fucking starter for the yeah. next three years. This is uh, this is Cooper's Cooper's son. So okay. uh, his uncles are um, Eli and Peyton. Now that's the tire guy. Right? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah right. tire guy. Yeah, right. totally makes race tires. Um, but racist yeah. tires. <laughs> he makes <laughs> racist tires. tires. Okay, Cooper fair. Manning does. Yeah. Um, but anyways, excited to see what ends up happening. Uh, I'm going to be a person that says I don't think he's going to be as good as everybody thinks he's going to be. Well, just so. going to Texas, he's like guaranteed to be a disappointment because Texas, <laughs> Texas is continually the most overrated fucking team every year. They wind up sucking seems every like fucking it. year, and they start off in the top 25 every fucking seems year. Seems like it, but... Uh, he got offers from places like Georgia and Alabama, and he turned them down. And he turned them down, in it, my opinion, I think, because if he went to either of those schools, he would have to sit on the bench for a year, two years, depending on when he gets to come in. But now, as he's going to Texas, yeah. he'll be able to start right out of the well, gate. And I guess uh, after this year, Texas will be a SEC team, correct? That is correct. Uh, I was going to say that really surprised me that he would go outside the SEC, but I guess he'll be backdooring it. Yeah. Um, which is, you know, I, I want to call it that from now on. You're backdooring back that. Backdooring that yeah. shit. Uh, any, any player for the next two years who goes to Texas, they're backdooring the SEC. Yeah. Um, so anyhow, yeah, he's, um, he's basically kind of, because of his lineage and pedigree, he's – guaranteed to be like the incumbent starter the job will be his to lose mm -hmm. um yeah and you know because peyton and eli will probably be at most of the games there will be all kinds of attention surrounding of and course. it's probably gonna fuck him up probably but we'll see yeah uh moving on next thing uh unless, i think I'm, he's I'm gonna fucking go up to the bell tower that university start shooting the place up <laughs> oh fuck too, too soon <laughs> too soon yeah that happened back in the 70s yeah <laughs> Hey, they call him a gunslinger for a reason, right? That's right. Any, uh, you got anything on that there, Fred? I mean, shit, I wish I was smart. <laughs> yeah, right. Or athletic. Or yeah. Well, yeah, this, did, is a, this is a good one you can talk about. Oh, did go. any of his, I don't know, did any of the Mannings go to? No. They Texas always or uh, the other two schools that you said he'd I want to say Georgia Ole Miss and Tennessee, I think, is where both of the uh, Eli and Peyton went. Uh, let's see. Tennessee. Eli went to Pey Tennessee. Peyton. Oh, Peyton. Eli, Eli went, went to, to Ole Miss. Miss. Peyton, Peyton went, went to, to Tennessee. Tennessee. That's right. I believe uh, Archie played at Ole Miss, and I think Cooper did as well. Mm. Peyton was the anomaly in that. Okay, there you go. Uh, moving on, uh, you can you can have an opinion on this one. Per TMZ Sports, Adrian Peterson and Le'Veon Bell are in talks to have a boxing match on July 30th at cry oh sorry cryo i don't even know what the cryo.com uh crypto crypto.com arena in la so you got two washed up football players mm -hmm. gonna beat the shit out of each other no one's gonna beat the shit out of the other <laughs> <laughs> who do you got Le'Veon bell is kind of basically known for you know taking that year off to hold out and then coming to training camp 50 pounds overweight whereas adrian peterson is known for like only taking two weeks off after tearing his ACL. Uh, <laughs> he's maybe one of the most intense human beings to ever step on a fucking football field <laughs> in a sport where people are just completely intense all the fucking time. Uh -huh. uh, they look at him and go, God damn. He's still fucking ripped. Fuck, dude. He's going to beat the fuck out of Le'Veon <laughs> Bell just by looking at him. <laughs> Le'Veon Bell's going to come in there with a fucking sandwich and... <laughs> Le'Veon Bell's gonna or fucking Adrian, Peterson. Adrian Peterson's hands are basically anvils. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's uh, it, this is gonna be if I could compare this to anything. Uh, a few years ago, back when they had that celebrity boxing, uh huh. Uh, do you remember? Oh God damn it! Who was that? It was that woman. The the woman when Bill Clinton was the governor of Arkansas, he had an affair with this woman. There was like a lawsuit, and I can't. Not Monica Lewinsky. No, it was before her. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, she fought uh, Tanya Harding. <laughs> now, <laughs> one one was famous for fucking a president. They kind of had, both had blonde hair. But the other was a fucking world-class athlete. <laughs> and a white trash one at that. <laughs> who is used to fucking beating people up. And, it's, yeah, I mean, Tanya Harding... 
just so soundly kicked the dog <laughs> shit out of this woman <laughs> that it was so unfair. And you could just tell both of them. It was so sad. They needed the money. Oh, and my God. God, it was. This is what this is going to be like, only maybe a little worse. Oh, dude, I'm trying to look it up and I can't fucking find it. Attack on Kerrigan? No. No, that uh, the, no that's that who not. Jeff Galuli hit in the fucking knee. Oh, and she man. sat there and pondered life, going, why? Why? Paula Jones. Is that? Yes. Yeah, yes, Paula yes, Jones. Yes. She fought Tanya Harding in celebrity boxing. <laughs> And it was just the most one-sided. Well, except for maybe the time when Danny Bonaducci fought Screech. Because <laughs> yeah. Danny Bonaducci has been a pissed-off drunk for <laughs> so many goddamn years. And he's like a trained martial artist. And Dustin Diamond is just... Scrawny. Fight. And dead. Yeah. And dead. But because they were both kind of dorks on as kids on TV shows. Yeah, they... They figured that'd be a good match. <laughs> hey, Bonaducci's got red hair, so he's kind of geeky. Let's put him in with Screech. And I mean, he basically just threw him in a fucking wood chipper. I mean, it was, it was like turn, turn a fucking badger loose on yeah, him. Yeah, poor Dustin Diamond. Yeah. Um, it killed him. That's what actually killed that's him. That's what killed him, yeah. The fucking injury several years later. That's right. Yeah. Uh, big announcement. Rob Gronkowski is retiring from the NFL. Again. Again. Do you think he comes back? Or do you think he's actually done? I don't know. Wouldn't be a bad late-round pickup in the fucking fantasy draft. No shit, right? I mean, just in case. But yeah. I don't know. I don't I don't know. How many times can you do that? Ugh, I got apparently. Well, I don't he think might, he might be trying to duck training camp. I don't know. He said he's gonna he's retiring. He's done. He Great. said that's what well, he said. Now he can get back to solving all the world's fucking problems with yeah. that. Million dollar brain of his. That's right. Still hadn't touched a single dollar of uh, of his, of his act, tonight show money. His NFL money, all of his proceeds, all of his uh, like commercials and shit that he did. That's what he's been living off. You of. know, he doesn't have to live that way. I know. He's just that <laughs> fucking dumb. I wonder if he knows. <laughs> he probably doesn't know he has NFL money. <laughs> probably not. Uh, but anyways, he's just too busy trying to slam puss and chug beers, man. Yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> Honestly, is, has there ever been a more just stereotypical fucking meathead? Nope. God, I, I cannot stand that about him. Oh, I love it about him. I think he's great. Of course you do, because you're a fucking moron, too. Yeah, that's right. Uh, but last thing, and then we're going to move on to the fun. Um, just the other night in a baseball game between the Los Angeles Angels and the Seattle Mariners, eight players were ejected after a wild bench clearing bra i think we need to have this more often bench clearing brawls between baseball teams think that's going to help with attendance it should most yeah more emotional game i think that this you know crossing sports i think it would be kind of fun i mean kind of turning baseball into more like hockey they should have each one of these teams should get their choice of levy on bell or Adrian, <laughs> or Adrian Peterson, Peterson. <laughs> to fill in like on a double header. He's their extra guy. Yep. And then just have the fucking two of them go at it right, right. there at second base. There you go. Uh, but no, but I, in my opinion, I think it is one of the more exciting things. I, it ended up being just kind of a, a spatting match between like pitchers hitting other players and shit like that, like it normally does. Mm -hmm. And of course, you're going to get some benches clear. Well, but these there was like people punching each other and fucking tackling each other. It was, it was pretty crazy. It's, okay. This is what... Teams, okay, professional sports leagues, the entities that control them, the powers that be, are just hell-bent on making things so, like, family-friendly and lighthearted and showing good sportsmanship. And it's like, in all your years of experience, why haven't you figured out that sports is so much better and more interesting when rival teams legitimately hate each other. <laughs> yeah. A, at least a little bit, if not a lot. A lot. I mean, you know, the idea that that the, you know, the Dodgers and the Giants could be playing a game and players from each team are just chit-chatting with each other. Yeah. And not plotting each other's death <laughs> is sacrilege, number yeah. one. But it, it's fucking boring. Yeah, it is. And the, and the fans of those it, teams, though? Fucking hate yes. each other. Yeah. And the team should reflect that. Right. I mean, if that's the kind of people who are your fans, you should want that reflected in the team 
because those are the people who are going to put butts in the seats, and those are the people who are going to sell merchandise. That's right. And uh-huh. hot dogs. And, and hot dogs. All that shit. And beer. $13 beers, man. Got to love it. And what was and, and that stuff you were talking the pizza? Yeah. Whatever the fuck pizza. that is. You got to love pizza. Yeah, it's delicious. Do they sell that at ball games? Uh, maybe they some, should. Probably some places. Uh, but that's the sports. Now we get to have Fred back. Woo! Woo! All right, now we get to move on to the fun stuff. He could have gonna... chimed in at any time. Yeah, I know he could have. I, I mean, uh, I mean, what do you you think? What do you do? You like uh, bench clearing brawls? I do. Okay. You know, it's like NASCAR. That's why you watch NASCAR, right? Yeah, yeah I gotta love they the get, wrecks. They get that much yeah. money, so. Mm-hmm. But but the More actual fights. idiocy of of the MLB owners, their whole philosophy on this was. Well, maybe we should get rid of the bench. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. No shit. Can't clear a bench if there ain't no bench. That's right. All right. Have well, them sit on the floor. Right. All right. Moving on. We get to get back to the ick. Uh, again, we're going to give a, a gal a rating and um, from 1 to 10 and then give something that she does and see if that rating changes any. So uh, we're going to start this one off with she's a 9, but she thinks it's okay to fart around you. Um, how long into the relationship are we? Is this from the get go? Uh, yeah, this is this uh, is early. Th- this makes her like a three, <laughs> and <laughs> because you know people never present who they really are like in the first two months of a relationship. So if she's coming right out of box, just letting biscuits fly, I, <laughs> what the hell? I mean, <laughs> she's gonna what? shit on you later in life. What her vagina's got to be a haunted house. I mean, <laughs> yeah, she's got dead animals and stuff in there. If she's <laughs> if she's not even bothering to fucking cover up farts. Yeah, how about you, Fred? I mean, I'm all right with it as long as they don't stink. Oh, so Sa- sounds okay. But if it smells like but if, shit, if it's, yeah, yeah. I mean, they then, they like to do this because they some some women do because they like. You know, hey, I'm just one of the guys. If I wanted to fuck one of the guys, I'd have <laughs> fucked one of the guys. I, yeah. I, I, I'm attracted to you because you're not one of the guys. <laughs> That's right. Uh, I'm with Jeremy on this. I'll even go low or I'll even say you're a, you're a one because I am already very like uncomfortable about that. And I'm married and I've been with my wife for like 13 years and I still get bothered whenever she farts around me. You it's have no just, problem talking about it on the podcast. Uh, apparently all not. The, no, all said, her bodily functions. Yeah, I know. Right. Yeah. She hates it when I do that. Uh, but anyways, moving on to the next one. She's a 10, but she never shaves her legs. Uh, one. <laughs> <laughs> really? A one? Yes. If you don't shave your legs, how poorly kept is the rest of you? <laughs> yeah, that's true. I mean, you probably got fucking axle grease and shit in your <laughs> belly button. <laughs> yeah. Does she at least, like, clean the chew out of her mouth before she kisses you? <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, this is just, uh, uh-huh. this speaks about a person's ability to maintain themselves at least in the short term, you're you're not even going to try and put on a good show for me. <laughs> I mean, am I not worth impressing <laughs> to at least that degree? Am I not that desirable? You just yeah. take whatever fucking clings to those fucking hairy ass legs. They're yeah. like Velcro, I guess. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, this is uh, this is also a deal breaker for me. I am very thankful uh, for the new trendy thing of going getting shit waxed because that's the way it should be. Yeah, I'm gonna give her like a like a two. <laughs> Going with a two. It's just an absolute lack of effort. <laughs> no, for sure. If they wanted me to shave my legs, would you do it? If 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 your spouse wanted you to shave your if, legs, would you do it? If they wanted you to shave your legs, would I do it? Uh, no. <laughs> if my wife um, wanted me to shave my legs, I'd do it. Okay, good yeah, for I'm, you. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna make sure she I, hears that. I don't. <laughs> I don't know that I would want to be with somebody who would want me to shave my legs. True. Dudes are supposed to have hair on their legs. Yeah. That's how you know they're like virile. Yeah. How about you, uh, Fred? See, I could do like a three or four. Okay. Unless the armpits match. Okay. If, but what if they match? Then like it's like done. Zero. Zero. <laughs> Zero. Yeah, you fall off. <laughs> like, there's there no <laughs> scale anymore. That's true. I'm, I'm with you on that one, too. Uh, next one. She's an eight, 
but she has four cats and does not like dogs. Fred? I mean, you lose one for every cat, so you're down to a four. <laughs> and I think you lose the other three for not liking dogs. So just <laughs> fuck right off. You are fucking <laughs> negative, and it's not even close. The fact that you have four cats make me know that you're crazy. Don't and, shave your legs. Yeah, and the fact that you don't like dogs. Who the fuck doesn't like dogs? Dogs are amazing. You are mm-hmm. negative. You are a negative three at this point. Yeah. Jeremy? Uh, she needs to understand that dogs are better than her. <laughs> <laughs> I would date, if, if I could, I would date a dog before <laughs> her. They're better company. Yeah. They're more attentive. They're, you know, just fucking undying love. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's true. But wait a minute. Sex with the dog, though. Doggy style, man. <laughs> Don't forget that. As long as that dog shaves its legs, I'm <laughs> cool. Right. I mean, no, it's, um, it, it, that's a, that's a major, like, personality Thing. that's that's a red flag i guess yeah stay the sure. fuck away i don't i don't typically unless i know somebody like has had a horrible tragedy like they've been attacked by a dog i generally don't trust people who don't like dogs because dogs can sniff out your bullshit <laughs> that's dogs right. can tell good people from bad people and uh-huh. if you don't mm-hmm. like dogs and there's something you're not telling everybody yep. not only that if a dog doesn't like a person that comes over or something like that uh-huh. i question that person i keep a closer eye on them because dogs have great intuition however so. dogs if you have a dog it will immediately go to her crotch if it's at all smelly, so that way she <laughs> might know. go out of her way to keep it trimmed up and clean. That's true. For you. So that's right. If that'll encourage her to shave those nasty fucking legs. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, next one. She's a nine, but she has an OnlyFans. I'm gonna just say an eight. Okay. Um, the only thing I wouldn't want to worry about is everybody approaching her in public. Yeah, it's true. That but. is true. I don't really care. I was, I mean, yeah, I was okay. Maybe one, one down, eight, because you know everybody gets to see what I'm wor- what I'm getting to have fun with. Um, and uh, men are normally pretty visual people, so mm-hmm. yeah, I'll go with the I'll go with an eight as well. Jeremy, how popular is that only thing? <laughs> like, if she's <laughs> only got two fans, that's really. Says a lot more about her. <laughs> no, than, but, than she, you. but she's a nine. I mean, you know, there there was a time when you know we only had like three fucking fans for this show. This is true, and it wasn't much of a podcast. I mean, we really couldn't brag about it. But now mm-hmm. we've got like a dozen, <laughs> and yeah, so does. yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, for fuck's sake, we're we've half sold out a fucking bar. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> that doesn't hold many people. That's okay. Uh, last one. She's a nine, but she loves to suck your toes. Get the fuck out. (laughs) You are so negative at this point. That is the most disgusting fucking thing that you could ever do, especially to try to turn me on. I might accidentally kick you in the face. Uh, No, this is a deal breaker for me. Absolute zero. Fred? Zero. Okay. Negative. Done. This is my favorite. This is this. I'm the same way. I've been waiting for this answer all day, Jeremy. Damn. Fuck this bitch. <laughs> and fuck you for bringing up this goddamn subject. You, I, I am. I'm. I told you I was fucking sick all last week. I'm this close to fucking vomiting. Especially if she loves to suck my toes, because I know where those fucking things have been. <laughs> yeah. And it, most of the time, ain't been the fucking shower. <laughs> They've been in my shoes. Really? I, I mean, in all sincerity, most people's assholes are cleaner than their feet <laughs> when you talk about the amount of bacteria and just nasty fungus bullshit built up on them. Yeah. This, I know this bitch isn't even real, and I want to slap her in the fucking face. <laughs> I don't know, man. Some people love If, if she's out there, I'm going to fucking find you. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> okay. God damn it. <laughs> All right. That is the ick. Uh, if you have any suggestions, you know where to go. 
Next uh, segment, we're going to do some real shit or horse shit. Same thing. If you have any suggestions for this or any other segment, send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on our Instagram or on our Q&A for TikTok, which is also at Laughing on the Sidelines. But first one, real shit or horse shit. When I hear someone else throwing up, I will also start to throw up. Instantly. Yeah. This is real shit. Straight up. Oh, fuck. It, uh, I mean, the gagging starts it, but the smell yep. is the oh, final yeah. one. That is, I will start fucking puking. I, I can hear it all day long. Once I smell it. Or see it. Or see it. Yeah. 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 Or even, okay, you know how like in school, how when somebody would throw up and they'd throw that sawdust shit on there mm-hmm. and it had that chemical smell? Now, if I smell that, <laughs> oh, shit. that makes it me want to throw up. PTSD. Yeah, it, I, it's puke by association, I guess. I This is not even a bullshit lie. If one of our dogs throws up in our house um, and I'm home, I get home before my wife does. I Fucking bragging. I, Look at how early I, I get home. Right. I pull the Adam Sandler of throwing something over it because I can't clean it up. Because then I will then have to clean up my puke right next to the dog's puke. So it is an understanding thing with my wife. No, just put a bag over it. I'll be home in about 20 minutes. I can deal with that Mm -mm. if I've given it time to cool down. No. If it's still warm and I've got like a paper towel. Now I have a machine that sucks up puke. Yeah, that's true. Pretty fucking good. That's true. I, I still couldn't do that. I would still start yakking. Okay, next one. It's my lawnmower. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Spread it out. That's that's one of the perks that Manscaped doesn't tell you about. Uh-huh. The lawnmower, lawnmower 4.0. Uh, if, you, if there's puke on the ground, um, it won't make things worse. <laughs> so take that how you want. True. I don't think they can get us for false advertising on that, can they? Nope. Uh, next one. You sure as hell adjust that light. Right. Next one. Real shit or horse shit. I have no problem having a conversation with another person who's going to the restroom right next to me. Huh? I'll say it again. Like in a public yeah, restroom? Public, like if yeah. I'm sitting in the stall and they come to the stall next to me and they want to yeah. just bullshit? Yeah, real shit or horseshit. I have no problem having a conversation with another person who's using the stall right next to me. This is a loaded question. Uh, understand, I don't want to have a conversation with somebody when I'm not shit. <laughs> I'm annoyed by that. And now you can't even give me this fucking private time? <laughs> yeah. Screw you. <laughs> I Unless you, you know, shave yeah. your legs, and then I'm fine with it. All of the guys that listen to this episode or all the guys in the United States know the rule, and that is if you go to a public bathroom and there are five stalls and a guy is using one stall, there needs to be a buffer in between you of at least one stall. That's really only urinals. That's urinals. Not necessarily stall stalls. Yeah, there's but, a pretty solid wall generally. Right. Um, if you get a mesh wall, don't use that. Yeah, I am uncomfortable as <laughs> Just hell. chicken wire? <laughs> yeah. I'd like to see that. Maybe are, Is that the renovations they're making at AJ? Yeah, yeah that's, that's what that it is. is. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I am uncomfortable when people are talking next to me at the urinal. I mm-hmm. for sure do not want to have a conversation with anyone when I'm taking a shit next in the next stall. Yeah, Absolutely. don't talk to me when I'm touching me. <laughs> no, or shit. <laughs> Fred, I don't give a shit. <laughs> I don't care. I talk to anybody all the time. I mean, I can tell most people don't like it, but I don't care. It's not like I'm like, hey, what'd you have for dinner? <laughs> no shit. <laughs> yeah. Like, well, hey, do you got TP over there? Or, yeah. You know, well, sh- or a good push. God damn, man. Yeah. Now, there is something like if we have a guest at our, our house and they're, and I know that they're in the bathroom shitting. I will start up a conversation from outside the bathroom <laughs> just so they can't enjoy that alone time. Even so they don't come back as often. Yeah, yeah. You're such a dick. Just like, what the fuck do you want to talk about? That's so important. You couldn't wait <laughs> till I got out. This is actually an important question. This is like, this is two hours of Fred's day on a daily basis. He, he shits, oh, yeah. uh, he shits like five times oh, a day. Yeah. If so I don't, if I don't that's, 
do you just like pinch it off and take it in tiny bites or <laughs> Ooh, I wish. Should I wish? Hell no. I, that's that seems like more times than normal to have full fledged poops. It's, that's what they say, but I've never known any different. It's crazy. It's it, absolutely that's crazy. Probably why you only weigh 117 pounds. <laughs> probably probably. Mm. You get your ass kicked by Screech. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Uh next question. Real shit or horror shit when doing the deed. I will watch myself if there is a mirror in the room. I'll put a mirror in the room. <laughs> yeah? Is that what I look like? Yeah. Is that the Absolutely. Fucking, have you ever seen your own O face? Mm, oh, I don't want to. Exactly. I don't want to see that. <laughs> Do you think your wife wants to see that? <laughs> oh, I'm sure it's, it's fucking called awful. research. <laughs> But I'm definitely doing this. This is real shit. I will uh, if there's a mirror present. I'm I'm looking. I'm I'm gonna oh, look. Yeah. You need to give yourself an air high five. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you damn right you will. Uh, but yeah, how about you, uh, Jeremy? Again, <laughs> I don't like looking at myself in the mirror when I'm wearing clothes. I don't. I, I, I wouldn't want to check myself out if I'm wearing a fucking tuxedo. <laughs> the last thing I want to do is ruin my fucking illusions of what I think I look like while I'm fucking. <laughs> oh. Can't you give me... For this 30 seconds, I think I look like I'm doing a good job. <laughs> yeah, I know. I think I would get up like... Have you ever seen uh, Red Dragon? Oh, no. Uh, prequel to... Uh, Silence of the Silence Lambs, of the Lambs yeah. where that dude just basically despises the way he looks so much that he breaks every fucking mirror that he sees. Mm. That's I'm not far from that. Wow, so that's kind getting of crazy. old, bitch. Yeah, it is getting. Yeah. Uh, next one, real shit or horse shit? If I am sent nudes, I will have no problem showing my best friends in a group text if we ever break up. This is a tough one. What's wrong with noodles? Nudes. Uh, yeah. Isn't that short nudes. for noodles? No. I thought it was nudes and No, co. noob pics. Oh, I thought she just sent you like a nice box of spaghetti. No. Oh. No. Take that. No, this is that's a, that's a, a nice thing to do. Here's some pasta. <laughs> Can I get the fuck out of my life? That's right. Yeah. Uh, well, no, she sent it while things were going good. That's how you knew things were going good. Right. So, more noodles. Um, I, this this is horseshit for me. I, I would I would I would be such a piece of shit. If I had naked pictures of a previous relationship and I shared it with a whole bunch of friends, that's that's like crossing the line, I think. So that's this is horseshit. I wouldn't do that. Fred, I don't do it. No. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. Yeah. It's just that's just crossing the line, I think. How about you, Jeremy? Understand this. <laughs> I've been married since before sharing nude photos was a thing. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea how I would react. I like to think that I'm a person of decent moral standing and would not. Um, but I, I, not to mention, you know, I spent a good amount of time really crafting the art of the spoken word. I can paint a picture with language better. <laughs> I can describe how awful she looks. <laughs> That's so bad. I can I can really put a dark spin on anything. Yeah. All right. Including vaginas. <laughs> I'm sure you can. Last one. Real shit or horse shit. I get angry if the toilet paper roll is just sitting on the counter or if it is presented in the incorrect way. This is a two-parter. So is it, you get it? Re read it yeah. again. Read it again. Two. I wasn't. I, <laughs> two. I, I, I was two. busy thinking about what I'm going to say to Derek here. Um, uh, <laughs> We'll call him. He might answer. Yeah, it's it. This is Fred. What? Nice to meet you. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah, I know. Yeah, uh, Fred Fred call. <laughs> Fred's been here the whole time. Uh, no, the, the question is: real shit or horse shit? I get angry if the toilet paper roll is just sitting on the counter, or if it is presented in the incorrect way. Go for it. Okay. Uh, sitting on the counter infuriates me, <laughs> lazy <laughs> motherfucker. Exactly. As far as over or under, I really don't give a shit. Really? Yeah. Um, I'm not that. I I can tell you that based off of in in our, you know, in the bathroom with my fuck shower. Yeah. Uh, based off of the proximity of the vent, the air conditioning vent uh -huh. to the toilet paper roll, it kind of requires you to do it a certain direction or else it'll fucking unroll itself every time <laughs> the air conditioner comes on. 
Um, but so yeah, in order to do that, you've got to go. Uh, what is? It? Yeah, it's got to come over the top and from underneath. Uh, oh, so the back, uh, so backwards. Backwards. Uh huh. Yeah, back. and uh, what really gets me is if the person prior to you does not fold it into a point. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I'm fancy. Oh uh, my! That's where and, you stick your finger in it to the scoop. Oh, uh, the point. Oh, I don't you know. You ever done that? Nope. Yeah, that's that's how I fold it into like a paper hat first. <laughs> I wear it around on the toilet, <laughs> and then I take it something. off. So yeah, and I use the point to really dig in the small crevices because uh-huh. I use uh, half ply. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh huh. It, wow. It's it's got the consistency of a number two pencil. <laughs> that, you're ten ply, bud. Sure. Uh, no, uh, this is absolutely real shit and real shit. Uh, it better be front facing. And I will if I go and use the bathroom in another person's house, and it is fit incorrectly, I will take the time and correctly put it the way it's supposed to, which is over the front. So this is real shit. How about uh, you, Fred? Can can I just make one more statement? Sure. Leaving, not putting the toilet paper on the roll is the equivalent of not putting your cart back <laughs> yeah. in the parking mm-hmm. lot. That's true. You are just a prick. <laughs> it takes half a second to do. Mm-hmm. Exactly. That's right. Fred? Uh, the first one, uh, toilet paper rolled sitting on the counter, that's real shit. Mm-hmm. That is the same. It's You're you're just worthless. Mm-hmm. And that's half the, it's the, half the population. Especially yep. at my house. I'm not saying you're anyone the kind of my person house does doesn't it, shave their legs. But my house doesn't have the spring-loaded ones. Uh-huh. It's just a... It's just a a C or whatever, so it just slides on. Uh huh. Well, yeah. Like you don't have to fucking do anything, right? And you set it on the goddamn counter. Yep. Drives me uh, fucking nuts. I used to be if it was incorrect way. Mine was always over the back. Uh, oh, really? Way. Yep. Because I, when I was single, I'd just go shit in the dark in the middle of the night, whatever. So I knew where to grab it. <laughs> you shit because, in the dark? Goddamn! I was broke. <laughs> okay. Fuck yeah. <laughs> wake up at three in the morning. You don't want to turn the lights on and wake up. That's you just true. Feel shit. Okay. Uh, while we're on this subject, if you guys could give me just, you know, a few seconds here, I, I'm in the middle, I'm about to be able to pass on some very uh, useful information that might contribute to this. Talk amongst yourselves. Okay. Uh, Perfect. <laughs> okay. What were you saying again? Uh, so now, so now, I mean, I used to be that way and now, uh, it was a battle and me and my spouse moved in together and yeah. I just, I just gave up. I don't give a shit anymore. Really? You know, and. Um, oh. You do come to my house a lot, and I'm sure you change it. I do. But I'm, every one of ours, um, I'm not going to lie, our toilet paper holders are so far behind me that I can't reach them. Yeah. I take them off every time yeah. to, to get what I need sure. and put it back. So I don't know which way it goes on. Okay. that's I guess it's fair. But, yeah, it, for me, uh, I'm 100% with you guys. If it's just sitting on the fucking counter, I'm, I'm pissed. Yep. Uh, but, yeah, I, it drives me nuts. Mm-hmm. You got what you need? Uh, waiting back to get a response. Uh oh. <laughs> well, my 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 biggest one is the lid. Oh, I want the lid down. The oh, completely closed. Completely. I don't want to see any of that. Okay. Whether it's clean or not. Okay. You know, and never thought about that one. Yep. Mine's always down, and I've I've fought tooth and nail every woman about that, and they're like, really? Yep. Wow. I, yep. I actually insist on using those toilet seats that they use at public restrooms with the cutout uh-huh. in the front, so that your dick won't hit it. <laughs> And so it's got no lid. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, I also put a Sloan valve on all of my toilets so it does that. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, Jesus Christ, he's texting me back. and it. Okay. Well, uh, no, let's but, move on. No, but in all seriousness, one last oh. thing before we get. So the, the toilet thing, I currently have a toilet right now. Good job, the, man. That the, Move it on up. That the seat. Did you get it from AJ's? No. <laughs> Are they taking out the old ones when they put in the chicken wires? Well, you no. should ask them for no. that. Yeah. No. yeah no, I mean, they gave you a menu. Why wouldn't they give you a toilet? It. I don't know. But the seat, the seat doesn't stay up. So if I have to go piss and I push the seat up, I have to have one hand holding my dick and the other one keeping the seat up so mm-hmm. I don't piss on it. Dude, it pisses this, me off. Uh, uh, this is where you got to learn to crouch pee. Crouch pee? Yeah. He's, he's get short. Down and he's so short. He you got to basically race it. Try and get done before the oh. lid comes down. Okay. Um, yeah. So that's You'll, why your seats have the cutouts. Yeah. So La- you can- ladies and gentlemen, uh, big news. Uh, my brother just took the first round of cleansing pills in preparation for his colonoscopy tomorrow. Uh, he says that he did not know it was possible to actually pee through your butthole. <laughs> But okay. I got to think that with these new wonder drugs that he's taken, uh, maybe we just won't even need toilet paper. Maybe not. That's just clean spring water coming yeah, out. That's crazy. 
It's All like right. Evian. Are those, are those pills Evian. Uh, created by Sloan? Uh, they might. <laughs> yeah, they might. They might. They're not really a pharmaceutical company. They're you more don't a plumbing know. supply company, but I, I actually do. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I mean, I, I have a good idea anyway. I went to push a button and nothing happened, so yeah. that's my fault. Uh, but anyways, now we get to move on to uh, a growing uh, segment of every single episode. This is called Bad Advice with Jeremy. Guys, if you have any um, anything that you need advice uh, from Jeremy on, you can send it to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram. But just understand that you are going to get the absolute shittiest and worst advice from our good old Jeremy Joseph. And we've got another one this week. Um, I... Uh, don't know who it's from. I don't know that we do have a good one this week. We, <laughs> we have one. <laughs> yeah, but Jeremy, um, Jeremy took a screenshot of it and yeah. then sent it to me, and it does not have the person's name. Uh, I, can, I can get that. You can get that? Yeah. Uh, Pretty quickly? In fact, you guys talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Some more. It was well, my brother while it. he was shitting. Uh, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Fair. Uh, let's see here. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Of course. Why is it that my new phone is way slower than my old one? That's it's how like, they. That's how they do it. That's how they get you. I transferred all my fucking viruses from porn. Oh, um, it'll do that. <laughs> that's that's true. That will do that. Let's see. Make sure you don't use the Wi-Fi when you when you're watching porn. That tells everybody where you're at. Mm -hmm. So that's how much you uh, watched and how much you watched. Well, too. no, I you know that deal where you can like post your status on like uh, Pornhub on on Facebook. Oh yeah. You know it'll tell you like if you're at a restaurant or at the movies oh, yeah, yeah, or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'll, I have it linked up with all the porn sites. <laughs> I'm, I'm at xhamster.com. So, yeah, <laughs> Jeremy is watching <laughs> Red Tube. Teen Shemales hammering foreign dudes. <laughs> Great. Uh, um, any luck? Yeah, I'm sorry, they weren't teens. <laughs> okay. I can spot a teenager. Oh, for sure. Uh, uh yes. Okay. Um no, that's not it. <laughs> Definitely not. God damn it. <laughs> yep, I know. So bad advice this week. Sorry, it took us uh, forever to find the, the fucking name of the person I on this. I thought you were going to edit that out because um, that was no, really bad content. I did. I'm, I edited this out. We just don't know about it yet. Uh, but All this right. comes in from Caleb Vestal. Uh, he writes... Dear Jeremy, my wonderful girlfriend Mackenzie and I are getting ready to celebrate our second year anniversary together at the end of the month. And naturally, she talks about getting engaged, uh, or, the, or the talks about getting engaged have increased. The problem is she wants me to wear khakis or black slacks and a button-up shirt when I propose, but I would much rather wear nice dark blue jeans with a polo shirt. How do I convince her that my clothing options are way more kick-ass than hers, what uh, would Jeremy Joseph do? Okay, first, I want to jump out on a limb here and just make an assumption. I know you're never supposed to make assumptions, but you guys don't happen to be white, do you? <laughs> <laughs> this this really sounds like white people problems. Uh, why did I pick this one? <laughs> just know that I put all the thought that this question was worth into it so first off you have to get her attention because women they don't pay attention so sweep the leg <laughs> that's how you start off just do like that spinning sweep kick that you see in ninja movies a lot and just take her legs out from under her now um explain to her that uh you know you know you want me to wear khaki you know who else wore khaki hitler uh <laughs> in fact oh my God. In fact, keep going. Hey, have you seen my Nazis? I mean, khakis. Oh keep God. referring to them. Uh, let's see. Uh, insist to her. Play stupid here and insist that the only button up shirts that you know about are baseball jerseys. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, when she finally shows you a picture of a uh, of a button up shirt, go, oh, you mean like the shirts lesbians wear? <laughs> um, <laughs> If she has you wear the black slacks, refer to them as my big black slacks. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, tell her that her taste and choices in your clothing are exactly like your mother's. Uh, oh, my God. That'll get her to back off. Um, uh, let's see. If you're ever wearing the clothes that she wants you to wear, uh, never stop uh, digging at scratching your balls and butthole. Uh, <laughs> 
It just make that your natural reaction to once you put those clothes on. Uh, <laughs> just start chanting "My Body, My Choice," um, <laughs> and I think really this may be the best advice that I could ever possibly give you. Stop being a fucking pussy. <laughs> She'll get proposed to when she gets fucking proposed to under the circumstances that you do. You bought the fucking ring. If you can't stand up to her on this, dude, you're fucking doomed. <laughs> Grow a fucking pair. Scratch those in the fucking big black, black slacks she got. Yeah, <laughs> and you know, just uh, grow the fuck up. <laughs> but thanks for the question. That's my advice. <laughs> well loved rounded. it. Uh, I loved it. That's great. Thank you very much again, Caleb, for uh, sending in your situation. I believe he's sent in another one, and we like that one too. Uh, but anyway, this guy's a two timer. He's a two timer, and he's that un- that forgettable. Oh no, I think I think the first oh. uh, the first one. Did he we did do was, it on the air? Yeah, we sure did. And we gave this guy a second look, huh? Yeah, we did. God. I think so. I could be wrong. Uh, but anyway, I think we get, uh, believe it or not, we're big with the uh, young white ones. So uh, <laughs> we got a lot of Caleb's <laughs> listening to this show. A um, lot of Caleb's and Tucker's. Yeah, that's right. Okay, uh, but moving on. Now we get to get to overrated or underrated. Again, guys, if you have any suggestions for this, you can send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on our Instagram or on our um uh, TikTok at laughing on the sideline. So first one, bring oh, it. Yep. Here we go. Overrated or underrated nude beaches. Uh, overrated. <laughs> and I'm going to explain why, you know what? No, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> let me, uh, let me just throw a little dose of reality onto people. Um, nudists, <laughs> have a very bad habit of being people you never want to see (laughs) naked. There are TV and movie nudists, and then there are real-life nudists. (laughs) And, um, yeah, they mostly... I fit the requirement to be in most nudist (laughs) colonies, okay? Uh, And I've lost some weight. (laughs) Um, it, It would be someplace that I went... To where I could be naked and feel confident. Uh-huh. That's uh, that's the reality of nude beaches. And, oh, and by the way, on nude beaches, ninety eight percent dudes. <laughs> yep. Uh, women either tend to avoid them because naked women walking around with naked strange dudes tend to get raped <laughs> uh, somewhat, or at least harassed. Oh. Yeah. And. Um, yeah, they're just not going to give it away for free. I mean, uh, that that is like one of those things where a bunch of dudes got together, thought it was a good idea, and then only dudes showed up. Yeah. How about you, That's Fred? It's fucking same. Yeah. It's fucking same. Overrated. I mean, the people you want to see at nude beaches are not at nude beaches. No. <laughs> they're not. No, they found out they can make money by being naked. Uh-huh. Exactly. Or exactly. at least right. manipulate people it, with it. There's always a childhood dream to go um, to a nude beach as a young yeah. man. That, uh-huh. but. You thank God I never went because I want to see old naked fat dudes. If you roll hairy up. Europeans, if you ever want a reference to what we are talking about, if you've never seen the uh, the movie that everybody makes fun of me about me not knowing, uh, Scotty doesn't know. Yeah, uh, Euro Trip. Mm-hmm. There is a scene where they go to a nude beach, and uh, yeah, it's all dudes. All so dudes. It's yeah. So this is overrated as hell. And it's a good movie. It is a fucking great movie. Did, did you follow in the line of that movie? Scotty not and make out with your sister? No, I didn't make out oh. with my sister. Scott, Scotty, the Scotty. I heard she was in town. Uh uh-uh. uh. Okay. The Scotty in the movie gets the hot chick at the end, so fuck off. Wait um, a minute. I thought it was Scotty that made out with his sister. No, Scotty did not. Yeah. Scotty makes out with the hot German chick. Well, yep. Yeah. That's a horrible yep. movie, by the way. That's a great movie. So that's why I don't really remember much about it. Anyways, uh, next one <laughs> overrated or underrated. Doing a burnout on your new motor scooter. Some bitch. This is <laughs> underrated. <laughs> underrated. <laughs> so I'll, un- send, I'll send the podcast a picture of my burnout on my driveway <laughs> right now. Because he did it. Uh, I'm going to also go with this is underrated just to watch him and the joy in his face for putting a nice burnout mark in his driveway. Oh, yeah. For his spouse to have to figure out a way to clean that up. <laughs> Jeremy? Um. Not on my new scooter, but on your your new scooter. I can do it. <laughs> Let's uh, go. <laughs> I, I'm going to be honest with you. If it's a small scooter with a 400 cc motor, I mean that's damn near like, yeah. You know, I mean that 
could be considered like a legit motorcycle. The power to rate, <laughs> weight ratio on that's got to be pretty fucking insane, to be honest. It uh, like, I, it's not too small. I'll pull a picture of Lee. It's, a, no, it's, a, it's, it's a, actually a pretty good size. It's about average size. It's for about scooter. average size. It takes it. It's, sure. a, it's a one cylinder, too, isn't it? Yeah, it's a one cylinder. Yeah, yeah but it, they all hit. Yeah, that's true. Don't you believe it? It's yeah. at least four stroke, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Maybe yeah. even five. Yeah. Yeah. You know those five stroke motors. So yeah. It's not itty bitty. Oh, okay. It still is a fucking. It's still scooter. a fuck scooter. <laughs> yeah, but it's not like the scooter. When I say scooter, you're thinking of like double the size of that at least. Yeah. No, I wasn't. Uh, <laughs> I was thinking of something smaller than that. Yeah. Like a rascal. Yeah. All right. Next one. I would burn out on a rascal. Okay. <laughs> Next one, overrated or underrated, water balloon fights. As a dad, overrated as fuck. Really? Because I'm the only one that can tie a goddamn water balloon, so I don't get to play. Oh, buddy. Oh, I know the new ones, uh-huh. but I'm not going to pay $14 for 20 water balloons. Oh, I didn't realize you that. Yeah, you can use regular balloons. Exactly. Yeah. They, they hold a lot more water. <laughs> they do. <laughs> Much easier. Yeah, I don't give a shit. I still think this is underrated. I love a good water balloon fight. The worst thing about a water balloon fight, though, is is the preparation and tying all those fucking knots for those itty-bitty water balloons. Mm-hmm. So I understand your pain. So, But I still think it's fun. Jeremy? Um, I, I think I told this story on here one other time, but I'll go ahead and do it. Uh, at my high school, they, had, they called it the Senior Skip Day, but it was like a school-sponsored thing where we actually – like as a class with whatever money we had left over and like our, you know, fundraiser from prom the year before, uh, we pulled that together and you had to bring your own fucking money, but they would basically take you, you know, from out there in the middle of bumfuck to, to Wichita and, you know, they'd take you to fun places and we all got to pick, you know, we usually went to the, back when the mall was a fucking thing to go to and we went to sports world. Remember oh, like, yeah. what's it's all star sports now. Yeah. Fucking mini golf and arcade and all that shit yeah, and yeah. go-karts. Um, but anyways, it was a tradition for many, many, many years that people brought squirt guns on these trips and they just fucking soaked everybody on the, on the bus. Well, the year, my senior year, there had been a school shooting that year Uh and there was basically this law passed nationwide law that was passed, uh, for all public schools, federally funded public schools that, Anybody who brought a gun onto a campus, whether it was real or a toy gun or a BB gun or anything, was automatically expelled. So we were not allowed to bring squirt guns because they were considered toy guns and none of us would have been able to graduate. Fuck. We would have all gotten expelled. So everybody just figured, well, the tradition's over. Wrong. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> me and, uh, uh, let's see, there were five of my buddies um, spent... We all stayed at one guy's house, and we spent the whole night filling water balloons, and each one of us had a full-size duffel bag full of fucking water balloons. (laughs) So we get halfway from my hometown, which is about an hour and 15 minutes from Wichita, and I don't remember what the fucking code word was, but somebody said it, and that was our fucking cue to start letting the fucking water balloons fly. (laughs) Well, the bus was going down the highway. (laughs) Fuck yeah. I, I'm not kidding you. That, I mean, everybody was in good spirits about it, including the bus driver, but she had to pull over. I, it was a fucking woman driving. What the fuck? <laughs> bus driver's supposed to be an angry old man. Uh, but she had to pull over and let us finish. You know, she just laid there and took it. Uh, but then they opened up the fucking emergency exit. And I mean, there was three inches of water. Just <laughs> so It was a waterfall for three or four minutes just coming out the back of that. That's but great. yeah, nobody expected it. So nobody brought a fucking dry cha- uh, change of clothes. A lot of fun. Uh, <laughs> since then, I have grown up. And I have made the statement, and I still stand by this. I do not like to get unnecessarily wet. (laughs) Uh, This is how fat guys get rashes in their crotch. (laughs) Okay. Um, So, yeah. Now, water balloons used to be awesome. Now they kind of suck. (laughs) Okay. Well, the balloon itself is fine. The fight where you get wet. No. I hate it. (laughs) Okay. Uh, Next one. And Uh you get your fucking heroin soaked in it, and they're really hard to jam up your ass (laughs) when they're full of water. Uh Next one, overrated or underrated, the Jerry Springer show. I used to come home every day from school and watch that show. Are you fucking serious? 
Oh my! Just it made me feel good that I wasn't that <laughs> fucking stupid. <laughs> I right. Here's my thing. What happens in your head whenever you get your spouse or the person that you're seeing and go, "Hey, honey, you know what I think would be a really good time? Let's go on Jerry Springer together. I think we'd have a blast." Have a blast. No, you fucking psycho. <laughs> Overrated as fuck. I don't. I, I I understand why people watch this, but it was obviously scripted in some certain kind of way. And it was just crazy fucking people. And yeah, I get it. But yeah, overrated. Uh, but I understand. Yeah. Fun fact about Jerry Springer. He is still to this day one of, if not still the most successful prosecuting attorney in the history of Cincinnati. What? Yes. He is He is a very, or was a very well-respected lawyer. Uh, the fact that he would stoop to this. I mean, given the money that I realized that prosecuting attorneys, I believe he was an elected district attorney. Holy he, shit. He was like the head district attorney in, in a major city like Cincinnati. Um, so, I mean, that's got to pay still six figures. And the fact that he would drop all that to go be a fucking clown on TV <laughs> oh and just basically God. run a freak show, a totally scripted fucking freak show for trailer park moms <laughs> that yep. and, and apparently Fred. <laughs> yeah, which, right. Um, yeah, that, that tells you how much money that that must've paid. <laughs> right. Uh, I believe at one time he was actually a Cincinnati mayoral candidate. Wow. wow. Yeah. Never fucking knew that. Yeah. And, and then he just became a fucking exploiting slime ball. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, all right. Last one. Overrated or underrated? Having sex for over an hour. Just cut it off and you can have it. (laughs) Yeah? I mean, I can't walk for an hour. (laughs) Well, you're... Like, uh, consistently. Right. Really? You can't? Not without taking a break. I... Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and ask it. How many of us have actually done this? Can we r- raise a hands? Uh, how many fucking decades ago? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, like, I'm sure at some point there, there almost was, everybody has. Yes, there was a time when I was actually pretty good at sex. Okay, uh, back when it was still new, <laughs> right? When it first came out. Yeah, yeah. When they first invented <laughs> it back in in the old days, and then. Uh, what really cut my time short was learning about sex without a condom. Uh, <laughs> it's like fucking with a sweat sock on your dick and then <laughs> taking it off. <laughs> it's a whole different deal. Um, but yeah, it, it's uh, not, you're just wasting time. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. My wife actually congratulates me for showing good hustle. <laughs> Yes. Brought it in on time <laughs> under budget. That's uh, that's my motto. <laughs> yeah, this is way overrated. Uh, it's, it's just too much. It's too long to get done what needs to get done. Make sure both of you are happy, and if it takes you an hour, there's something wrong with one of you. So overrated for me. Like Carl Malone, I got the nickname in the sack of the mailman <laughs> because I heard my wife saying how she was going to fuck the mailman. <laughs> nice. All right. Thank you very much for overrated or underrated, but no suggestions, so that's okay. Uh, but now we get to get on to uh, Jeremy's favorite part of every single episode. This is questions and preguntas. Unfortunately, no suggested uh, ones from fans this week, but we've got some zingers. All right. Uh, so first question. I am straight, but blank could turn me gay. Clayton, you want to answer this one simultaneously? Well, I changed it. Okay. But go ahead. Ryan Reynolds. Ryan fucking Reynolds. God, he's such a good good dude. Hundred percent, good tie. How about you, Fred? I mean, scooters. (laughs) Scooters. You you ain't seen a good looking guy like me on a scooter. Mm Mm-hmm. Yep, that's true. How about you, Jeremy? I think just a firm, assertive attitude. Really, (laughs) somebody if they really seemed confident could probably talk me into it. (laughs) No way. Like a Chris Hemsworth. Oh yeah. I've always said that. He doesn't know it, but he could come up and kiss me on the lips. And I, <laughs> I, I'm i not going to initiate it, but if he does, I'm not going to fight it. 60-40 maybe? Yeah. I mean, 
while he may not know specifically about me, I assume that just from the way he walks around, he knows he could. <laughs> if he saw me, he may he may never want to do it, but he knows he could. There you go. All right. Next question. Pick up lines for circus performers. Fred? Want to see my big top? Want to see my monkey? Mm, Jeremy? What do you want to see? Uh, I can flip on a trampoline. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least I ain't one of the fucking clowns. <laughs> <laughs> I got a bullwhip and a starter's pistol for the lion. You want to use it? <laughs> That's fucking or cool. how about just please fuck me. I'm in the circus. <laughs> I'm a carny. <laughs> That's fucking great. We can watch Jerry Springer later. <laughs> <laughs> I got front row tickets. I got every one of them on laser disc. <laughs> uh, all right. Next one. Famous last words. Calm down, honey. Yeah. Yeah, you you mm -hmm. You're yeah. fucking dead. My last words are probably gonna be fuck you, Scotty. <laughs> uh. Wow. So what do you think? Probably, I shoot we'll you? Probably going what? down a yeah. fucking double black diamond okay. mountain or yeah, some shit. That is true. That is yeah. fucking true. Like that'd be it. That'd be how you go. Jeremy, you call that a backflip? <laughs> <laughs> Do a backflip over his fucking scooter <laughs> <laughs> while he's going. Uh huh. Yeah, I'll do that <laughs> shit where I up. I matrix that shit right over top of it as he's coming at me. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, I don't know. I think weight-wise, I still probably have the advantage over you and your scooter. <laughs> probably. We can find out. Yeah. yeah. It's All like, right. hey, you guys remember Evil Knievel? Let's do it on a scooter. All right. How many scooters can you fit in that fucking Wagoneer? <laughs> probably, uh, probably two. Probably about nine. You're nine? saving gas by oh. driving your scooters around. <laughs> Uh, all right. Next one. Bad ways to break up with your partner. Fred? I mean, first off, sending them spaghetti. Here's, <laughs> oh, here, yeah. Here's your nudes. Yeah, there you go. But, you know, finding their profile on Tinder. Oh. But what are you doing on Tinder? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so do you just match them and say, Bye, honey. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> Message. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Um, I think the, probably the worst ways to break up with your partner is tell her friend to tell her for you. I think that's really bad. But, uh, like, I, I'll never forget it. Friends, Chandler could never break up with uh, what's her... Oh, Janice. Yeah. Janice. Janice. And so finally, instead of just not breaking up with her, he ended up saying he's going to move to Yemen. <laughs> and, <laughs> and she walked had, him to the terminal. Had to buy a ticket to fucking Yemen. So I'm going to say that one. That one's pretty bad. Jeremy? Um, well, there's a couple here. Uh, you could leave a personalized message for them on your OnlyFans <laughs> page <laughs> just saying, yeah, I think we should break up. <laughs> now watch me fuck this guy. <laughs> oh, that's um, bad. Or, you know, just be incredibly nonchalant about it and, like, doing it during your approach while you're bowling. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Just as you listen, I think we should break up. <laughs> I think we've thrown apart. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Picked up the spares. Uh, Speaking of spares, uh, I'd, I'd like to leave you. On the side. On the, the side. Yeah, yeah, on the side. I, I think of you as the last pin on my open frame, <laughs> stranded and alone. There you go. All right, last question. The rejected Sesame Street character, blank, the blank. I've got a couple. Oh, I was supposed to come up with this. Oh, well, I've got a couple. Mine's probably not good, but I went with Eileen the Dumpster. Ooh, there we go. i got a couple. Uh, I've got... Uh, Scooter the Schizo. I figured I'd be a part of it. Uh, Not everybody named Scooter is you, Scotty. Jesus Christ, you conceited prick. Fine. Uh, Tommy hey, the Hey, can your scooter host a podcast? <laughs> <laughs> Probably better than Scotty can. Yeah, sure. I said, no shit. <laughs> Fuck you both. I would much rather listen to... <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, I got uh, Tommy the Tourette's guy. And uh, lastly, Peter the pedophile. Jeremy? Uh, Enema Al. Okay. <laughs> Enema Al? Yeah. He's, he's just that one guy that walks around in the neighborhood, still got his bathrobe on, holding the fucking Enema bag. Just <laughs> with, you just see the line going to his ass. There you go. Uh, yeah. And, and always offering to give sure. Enemas to other people. Maybe he gives that out as a, uh, as a gift. Oh, okay. Here's, here's an Enema kit. Uh, <laughs> God, that's gross. But I guess it's blank the blank. And, uh, uh, oh, fuck. Veely the calf. <laughs> okay. Veely the calf. Yeah. The calf that's like just, you know, uh, permanently staked to he's, something. And he's, he's only there for one waiting. episode. Yeah. He's only there for one episode. <laughs> well, he's a recurring character, but he keeps getting weaker and weaker with each episode. Oh, uh, Super great. Grover can't break him loose. Oh, God. All right. Now we get to move on. And then it just shows him eating fucking beef. Uh, yeah. <laughs> send us uh, send us your questions again at Laughing the Sidelines on our Instagram or our Q&A. But now we get to move on to Stinky a... Stinky the butt plug. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the yeah. Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Uh, last week, Jeremy fucking somehow won um, our sci-fi movie draft. Mm-hmm. Very with, nice. With fucking um, Empire Strikes Back. I mean, that's how he won. Jesus, Steve yeah, it, had a better list. It's like one of the most popular sci-fi movies Maybe uh, ever. I think Steve's list was fucking fire. But as besides, well, the then point, maybe you should have fucking drafted Steve's list. I tried. <laughs> Some of the movies he picked, I couldn't pick. In fact, maybe that should be our next draft. Is our favorite things that Steve has drafted. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, anyways, uh, so that means that uh, Jeremy gets the championship picks. He gets the uh, very last picks. Uh, I came in second, so I get the uh, sandwich picks. And now, because we have uh, Fred as a guest, he gets to have first pick. And let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, I am pumped for this fucking draft. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> this week's draft is going to be our favorite arcade games of all time. Yes. Had to be an arcade game. Okay? I Like a stand-up cabinet. Stand-up cabinet a quarter arcade game slash... Maybe uh, ride the game or drive the game kind of thing. But there had to be a game component. It can't be one of these like stupid Chuck E. Cheese where you fucking sit in it and just watch the screen like you're on a fucking roller coaster. Yeah, no. Ski ball, Those, does, ski the, ball doesn't count. No, that's not a video game. Yeah, this is, these are There's actual video arcade games. Man, I'm fucking going back to some... <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. I'm, I'm no, seeing, I can't wait to crush your dreams. I'm, I know you're going to. You get the first pick, so you got to be very, very careful with what you pick. Yeah, I do, and I, I think it has to go... To Mortal Kombat. Oh, okay. You went that route. Yep. You went I that think route. It has to go to Mortal Kombat. Okay. All right. I uh, that was going to be victory. That was going to be the way I was going to go if you were to take the true best arcade game of all time, and it's not even a question. It is Teenage Mutant Ninja Ooh, Turtles. Oh, see, I didn't think yes. you'd think of that one. Oh, so bullshit! I, that was the one that I played nonstop. It was so well, good. Oh, boy. All right, Jeremy, you get it, man. Two in a row. Well, you guys don't know shit about video games. Okay. I was there for the fucking golden age. <laughs> you were the the goddamn. Gold. It's the Dude. slash Ooh. beginning. I invented cabinets. <laughs> sure. that's, that's how much I, I was a part of this. Okay, there was absolutely nothing in the world that would get you laid faster than being good at Galaga. Galaga, Okay. That's Still to one. this that's day, if one. I see it, I'm going to fucking play it. Yeah, that's true. You and got I'm a you have grown to. fucking man. You have to. Okay, Jeremy. Yeah. Next pick. Paperboy. Really? Fucking Paperboy. In the arcade where you had the fucking handlebars yeah. uh, okay. and the button, and you could just fucking lay people out. That was like the first game. Because up until that point, really, games, you know, like. Certain one, you had a fucking certain track you had to follow or whatever. Mm -hmm. This one, you could go outside the fucking zone and hit shit that wasn't supposed to be hit, and it would actually do damage. You could break windows. You could knock people the fuck out. Uh, you could run over fucking fire hydrants and cats and shit. 
Okay. All right. I mean, I, I understand. I totally groundbreaking, <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> groundbreaking. It was before they invented cabinets. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm gonna take a risk because I uh, the game that I'm thinking of I don't see on anybody else's list. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with a popular, more popular pick, and I'm gonna go with Street Fighter Two. I don't know that I ever saw Street Fighter One. I uh, it, it was a, it was an arcade. I saw Street Fighter Two yeah. all the time. And then there was like Street Fighter Two oh. Extended Edition, and then yeah, then they made went got stupid with it, yeah, and then they made a fucking movie out of it with Jean Claude Van Damme, and that movie was fucking uh-huh. awesome. No, oh, <laughs> you went with the wrong off, <laughs> oh, awful, awful. No, it was it was really bad. It was horrible, and it's it's like spawned offshoots. <laughs> The Legend of Chun Li was my favorite. Oh, I, was, I love the idea that a ninety-two pound Asian woman is just gonna kick the shit out of a sumo <laughs> wrestler. No bullshit. Did you? Ma- okay, so this is no kidding. So we just came out with uh, uh, Mandalorian, right? Man- or I mean, no, no, it was Boba Fett. Boba Fett uh, on on Disney, right? Uh-huh. This was last year. Yeah. Did you notice that the the girl that's with him with Boba Fett? Is actually is Asian. I can't help but notice that. It, that's Chung Lee if from the Street Fighter Street with Fighter. John John Claude Van Damme. That is Chung Lee. Fucking crazy. No. Yes. No. That girl would. She would have been two fucking years old. No. I, no. Not, I'm dead serious, dude. It, that came out when I was in high she school. She looks amazing. She was in her 20s whenever she did the Street Fighter movie. Now she's in her 50s and she was. Listen, in I know they all look the same. Okay, <laughs> I get that. I I'm think you're mistaking you. this one with the other one. No, it's her. I looked it up because I was not like, Lucy Liu. No, it's not. Okay, so I took Street Fighter Two. Fred, you get two. Oh, what two do I get? What two do I want? I can pick for you. <laughs> I mean, you want asteroids? I was real close to that one, but I know you weren't. I just think I'll take Space Invaders. Okay. So I did far. like that one. It's like, like it's, that's that's basically Galaga for people on Quaaludes. <laughs> that was that was where the ghetto arcade didn't couldn't afford Galaga. Probably that's that's actually no. Pretty. It was Galaga was a generation after. Oh, okay. Uh, you and, get another one. Uh, I'm trying to save my favorites for later because I don't know if they're as popular, but I'm gonna go for it. My favorite one of all time was Time Crisis. God damn it, that was one. I don't uh, know if everybody remembers that one. Is that where you got the pistol? And you had to step on the pedal. Yep. And, yep. You had yeah, to step on the pedal yep. to hide behind shit. Well, yeah. Time Crisis Two was the one where it's the same thing. You had to step on the pedal, but the gun like moved whenever you yeah. shot it. That was Time yep. Crisis. I tell two. you what, it fucks you up when you get in a real shooter situation and you find out you have no pedal. No pedal to step on. <laughs> Man, yeah, yeah I hope that's I true. To. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I I have mine there, but I <sighs> does your scooter I, have pedals? Not yours. <laughs> I mean, no. Give a fuck what you have. <laughs> no pedals. Okay, this is a total '90s kid thing, and uh, I was reminded about it today whenever I was uh, asking a couple of folks if they if they remember their favorite one. But there was a game called Off Road, where it had three steering wheels, and oh, the yeah. cars were yeah. red, blue, and yellow, and uh, you had to navigate the whole track. That game was made in '89. That was. A Fucking fun that game. Was a fun one. It was that timeout. That was where I played yep. that. Yep. They still have that game. Bullshit. Cab. Oh, I swear to God, they still have I that game. I will go and fucking play that shit. Jeremy, you get two. Um, okay. You guys may not know about this. Afterburner. Okay. I don't know about it. It was know. a fighter jet game, and it was oh. like the first one that you like got in the deal and sat in it and it moved around yeah. while oh, you were sweet. flying. And it was a fucking dollar. To play wow. at the fucking arcade, Damn. and Dollar. it's Nobody like could afford that. if your parents happen to give you a twenty, then you could afford to play it once. <laughs> you, you, other, otherwise, if they just gave you the typical five. You're not then wasting. You're not it. wasting one of those dollars because uh, you only got fucking twenty games at that point. Yeah, and you suck at most of them because you don't have access <laughs> to most of these games most of the time. Okay, uh, you got that one. What's your next one? Um. Fuck, I don't know. I do remember Afterburner now that you said that. Yeah. Uh, okay. This this is really gonna fucking <laughs> date me here. Yes, it is. I know where you're going. I don't think you do. Maybe I do. 
it, and there's a specific version of it, the old track and field. Oh, with the, dude, no. The trackball? Yes. That one yes. is fucking great. Yes. The one with the buttons that you had to keep hitting over yep. and over again? Yes. That one could suck my filthy <laughs> shithole. <laughs> I knew guys who would play that and like set records, but they use their knuckles. Yeah. And it's like, why? Use your fucking fingertips. Why do you got to bloody up your goddamn... It turns out they were like, you know, preparing themselves to break boards and cinder blocks and shit. <laughs> I'm surprised. I'm surprised. I mean, I guess. I mean, but I definitely played the shit out of that game too. That was uh, that was at the uh, Taco John's on the way to uh, to Wichita from back and forth in Garden City. Oh, well, probably in Dodge. In Dodge, yeah, yeah, that's where it was. Okay, I uh, again, I know I'm going to have one of two games, and I don't want to fuck it up. So I am going to go ahead and go with uh, the good old Golden Tea. Do you have a membership? No, I don't. I, I sure do. I, I don't anymore. I uh, I haven't played it in, a, in quite a while, but I've man. I've got the fucking app. I can change my character can, right now. Tournaments for that shit. Can I, can I say something about Golden Tea that, God damn it, I, I don't want to get in trouble with anybody, but I'm going to make kind of a bold <laughs> statement here. Here we go. Playing golf on Golden Tea seemed easier than golf in real life. Of course it did. Oh yeah, my golden tea avatar. It wasn't is way better as challenging. Than me. <laughs> <laughs> I still, still. Turns out, that. whenever I played it, though, I was still in track and field mode, so I just kept fucking <laughs> spinning, <laughs> spinning the ball the wrong way. Yeah, it, it got ugly for a while. All right, uh, Fred, you get your last two, man. Last two. Uh, I think I'm gonna take Hydro Thunder. Okay. Anybody remember that one? No. That was. Um, Racing jet boats. Oh yeah, 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 it yeah, yeah. Loud speakers, and you got to pick oh, your. Oh boat. yeah, shit. oh yeah. I never put it. I saw it. Oh yeah, yeah, you had to push that fucking yeah, thing forward. You go down oh. four hundred foot waterfalls or whatever. Oh yes, love that, that fucking. Game. I remember. That's a good pick, dude. That is a great pick. Yeah. Uh, you get one more. Oh. Don't you fucking do it. This is this is tough. There's a there's a classic that I did play a lot, but I. I think I'm going with WWF. WWF? Mm-hmm. Oh, the old, the oh, old WWF yes. wrestling. Yes, I forgot all about that one. That's a good pick, too. Dude, good job. I miss arcades. I do, too. We have one here in town. I know, but it's still not the same. It, it's uh, apparently it's supposed to be pretty cool. Is it? Yeah. All right, we're going this yeah, weekend. Yeah, we need to go this weekend. Um, I, have, I have two that I need to choose from, and... I no. Yeah, the the thing it. is, is it's not really on any of these lists. But I, I did like the fighting games. I like the one on one fighting games, and I played one more than another. But I know that one was definitely more popular than the other. So I'm going to take the more popular one, and I'm going to take Tekken. Tekken two. Tekken was major popular. It was. I wanted to be fucking Eddie Gordo doing the fucking the Capoeira dance deal with he was like kicking you and flipping oh, all over yeah. the fucking place. Yep, that was my shit. So I'm gonna take Tekken two. That was the like the first game where the original PlayStation really showed off its graphic mm-hmm. superiority. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yep. All right, Jeremy, last pick. Um just because it was fun to piss off your friends playing uh, NBA jams. Oh, that's another oh, that good was one. A great one. That was Derek would say you win just on that one alone. Oh. Um, Why don't I, you ask him? Okay, no shit. Hey, hey. <laughs> uh, I have so many fucking honorable mentions. It's oh, not me oh, too. Jesus, yes. Donkey Kong was on there. The no. Simpsons was on. Simpsons there. was on there. X Men. Donkey Kong sucks. <laughs> you know what? It's a classic. Dude, suck. Um, that, X-Men. Okay, Donkey Kong genuinely started an actual fucking empire. Yeah. I believe that was yep. the first appearance of Mario. That is the that first is. Appearance, of Mar- or appearance of Mario, yes. Um, it is not that easy, by the way, to chop barrels up with an axe. I know. I know. Tried it's it? not. Yes. Huh. Um, but there was... Being uh, hurled at me by a fucking gorilla. I, I played it maybe <laughs> two times, but do you remember the horse racing game? It's where you actually had to oh, get up on the pump fucking, the horse. Yeah, yeah, you had to pump the horse. I played it once or twice. It was fucking two pump chump. No, man. No. <laughs> Shit, no. <laughs> Shit, no, man. Oh, um, <laughs> uh, God. But, like but the, the other fighting game that I probably liked more than Tekken and played more than Tekken was Virtual Fighter 2. Do you remember that? I do. 
they were I, all the same. They exactly they thing. are. They but, were. But Tekken was more popular. I liked I liked the Virtual Fighter too, though, because you jump, you would fucking fly. You would be up in the air for five seconds. It was fucking great. Do you remember the original fucking fighting? I believe it was just called Karate or Kung Fu. Yeah, like with on the, the NES? two joysticks. Oh yeah. no! And it was different combinations of them, and it was just the slowest fucking horrible thing. And it was basically okay, your turn to kick. <laughs> yeah. Okay, can... now your turn to kick. No. It was fucking <laughs> awful, but it kind of sparked that whole generation of one-on-one. Oh, I know. Uh, in the movie Bloodsport. Oh, yeah. John Claude and Donald Gibb yeah. play it a, okay. against each other. Yeah. And then they get into a fight with that Arabic dude. Yeah. Now I show you some trick or two. <laughs> how, about, uh, how about Crazy Taxi? You remember that one? I remember it. I didn't play it, it as right. much. Cruise in USA. Cruise in USA yeah. was I awesome. Spent a the lo- Miata. I spent a lot of fucking times in the arcades. It's just that's just where my go-to place was. I love the arcades. Did, I mean, that was as a kid. That was the best reason to come to Wichita and go to the mall. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. that fucking arcade. For some reason, a mall was guaranteed to have yep. a movie theater and mm, an arcade, arcade and a Spencer's. Yeah, and that's for a kid that, especially a kid who lives out in the middle of bumfuck with nothing. Yeah. To do, yep. Yep. that's exactly what you want. There's and there's definitely tons more. I could probably do this for fucking 20, 30 more minutes if I wanted to. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You've but, obviously got Pac-Man. Yeah, Pac-Man. Yeah, Pac-Man, 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 Pac-Man sucks. It sucks. does. It does it, suck. it was so innovative for its time. They they yes. wrote a fucking song that charted on the top 40, Pac-Man Fever. Uh, it was kind of debuted. It, they had a partnership with Big Cheese Pizza, where for yeah. a little while it was found exclusively at Big Cheese Pizza's. Wow. And that's what got people to originally go to Big G's restaurants. And then it went everywhere. Yeah. And then they invented one with a bow on her head. Yeah. <laughs> so different. And, but made it a table. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 That was at Pizza How, Hut. Yeah. And I look back at that and it's like, you lazy motherfucker. <laughs> what? You uh, couldn't stand maze. to let a fucking <laughs> video blip do all your work for you? <laughs> I mean, was the the point of that so if your pizza came, they could set it down on there? Because how bad would that piss you off? Exactly. Sure. (laughs) I wonder if anybody ever ate at the table (laughs) table games. I don't know. Because they had a gal going. Yeah, Yeah, they did. They did. Most of the games did. All right, guys. Well, that is our draft. Moon Patrol. You (laughs) okay? Remember Moon Patrol? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dig Dug. Yeah, Dig Dig Dug. Dug was a big one. Yeah, that was Cubert. No, I don't remember. Yeah, Cubert. Double Dragon. Oh fuck. Yeah, I, I see that mostly. I mostly knew that from Nintendo. Uh, they that had, was one of the big, they had an arcade big game. hits. Yeah, but. side-scrolling hits. Mm-hmm. Wow. All right, uh, guys, that's our uh, draft for our favorite arcade games of all time. You can vote for uh, whatever list you think has the best uh, arcades uh, games by clicking on the corresponding emoji on Wednesday. So check that out and also comment some of your favorite arcade games. Uh, as well. We appreciate that. But now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer. And Legos. That's right, Scotty. Uh, there's a, a medication out there. It's called uh, sulfonylamide. Uh, it's an antibacterial drug. It was very popular before the invention of uh, antibiotics. Uh, still to this day, it's uh, primarily used to treat vaginal yeast infections. Ooh. Just uh, just to have some fun with that. Who doesn't like a good smell? Um, <laughs> uh, uh, it basically has to be used as a, uh, a topical a application because if you ingest it your your stomach will digest it and break it down before it can do any good unless it is already pre-dissolved in some sort of an undigestible uh, material so uh, in 1937 the se massengill company uh, massengill like yeah, treating yeah. uh yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. they developed their uh, miracle elixir where the sol- sulfid yeah stuff uh, <laughs> it came pre-dissolved in uh, a wonderful great tasting fluid known as ethylene glycol <laughs> oh god <laughs> 
Uh, in case you're not familiar, that is the active ingredient in antifreeze and uh, is highly, highly uh. toxic. Uh, like a little bit of it ingested will kill you. But apparently that was information not known to uh, Harold Watkins, who was the company chief pharmacist and chemist. <laughs> chief! <laughs> he ascended the fucking ranks without knowing antifreeze is bad for you. Um, they released this in uh, September of 1937, and by October 11th, uh, they were starting to pull it from the shelves after reports of several mysterious deaths uh, <laughs> after taking it. Um, at least 100 confirmed deaths were attributed to this. Nobody actually knows how many because uh, they really didn't keep track of that shit because back then, none of this shit was subject to any real government regulations. Uh, thanks to all these deaths, uh, they passed the 1938 Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act, which requires any and all of those items to now, of course, wonderfully be tested on animals. Uh, and now, I don't know how the fuck they're going to do it, but your child can uh, recreate the magic of this moment <laughs> using nothing but a little imagination. Actually, a lot of fucking imagination. <laughs> and Legos. Legos. Take two of these and call me in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awful. All right. Well, this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation is, would you rather you have to date one of these people for at least a month? So would you rather date a person who does not shave a single square inch of their body at all or date a person that is infatuated by putting your foot in her or his mouth? Fred? Do I want hair in my teeth or <laughs> feet in a mouth? Yeah. Yeah. Your yeah. foot in her mouth. At least mouth. it's her f mouth. Yeah, that's yeah, true. It's, it's I, mean, I can it, go with a non-kissing relationship. Right. I think that's the way I got to go is the, the foot chick. I Yeah. I, I'm, I'm going with the fucking foot chick. It's going to be gross. It's going to be 30 days of this shit. But I, I seriously cannot, like, rub up against a bunch of like leg hair or arm hair or twat butt hair. hair yeah butt hair. hair yeah come on man that's just a little much i i i guess i'll put my foot in the chick's mouth but i can't i'm not doing the hair so yeah i'm doing that jeremy um yeah i mean they Make Listerine for a fucking reason. <laughs> Wash your fucking mouth out. That shit will kill anything. It'll also uh, pre-dissolve sulfonylamide, too. A lot of people don't know that. Uh, if you drink Listerine, it'll just get you fucked up, but it'll cure what ails you. Um, yeah, she can always brush her teeth, wash her mouth out with soap, whatever the fuck. Uh, that hair is just there. And I'm going to assume she wears short shorts. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Daisy Dukes. And, and thinks she's sexy. <laughs> That's the worst. As I've talked before, there's nothing that gets on my nerves like a woman who thinks she's fucking sexy but ain't. Yeah. And I can tell you, I've never met this woman, but she ain't. Uh, <laughs> just because she don't shave. I mean, the other one's not too fucking hot either. She's fucking gross and uh -huh. probably spent a lot of days in her trailer house getting fucked by her foster dad. But <laughs> oh, still, uh, that just means she's going to be nuts. Yeah. I mean, if she'll put that in her mouth, what won't she put in her fucking mouth? Yeah. Turns out Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts. Uh, yeah. Only one. Yeah, that's, that's it. She's got a real aversion. She, that's just <laughs> fucking gross. Yeah. Those make you fart. Mm -hmm. uh, but, yeah, give me those fucking tootsies, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> little dogs. Oh, that's absolutely. Yeah, what's this little fucking piggy doing? Yep. Throat fucking you, that's right. <laughs> Oh, my God. All the way home. Oh, my Lord. Yeah, is that considered roadhead if she does that while you're driving? Mm-hmm. Does she get down there by the brakes? <laughs> she works them for you? Yeah. Uh, I think so. I think it yeah. does. Yeah. You're getting towhead at the at that point. Sure. You know? Uh, but anyways, guys. Is that a fucking, like, insult? Like a racial, a towheaded? <laughs> I don't know. That's probably where it came from. Probably, gross, yeah. Gross motherfuckers. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> anyways, guys, thank you guys so very much for helping the show grow. We sincerely do appreciate it. You guys are doing an awesome job sharing uh, and telling your friends about us. We sincerely do appreciate it. I want to say uh, thank you to uh, Fred for coming out and helping out. Uh, Derek is going to have a very, very busy July, so we may not get to see him very often. 
Uh, he's still a part of the show. I promise. Yeah, he is. Him. He, he's, He'll be the last one to go. Yeah, exactly. And um, yeah, you I'm know, I'm not going to say who's going to be first. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, don't say it. Yeah, don't say it. We've thought about, re- you know, uh, basically, you know, replacing you with a gay little motorcycle. So, <laughs> okay. uh, you, yeah, you're on thin fucking ice. That's okay. <laughs> that's, that's all right. <laughs> Uh, but in all seriousness, uh, there are still tickets available mm-hmm. for uh, our live show, which is on October the 22nd. It is going to be a fun time. We've got a lot of ideas going around uh, uh, to actually even incorporate the audience. Uh, that's a possibility as well. Yeah. Um, so it's going to be a fun time. If you can make it, uh, we would sincerely hope uh, that you would want to go. And uh, and it's not very expensive. Our, our original so. plan was not to incorporate the audience at all to the point where we want to face the chairs away, away from, from us. us. Yeah. And we just want you to look at the back of the fucking room. And in fact, earplugs. You can't even hear us. That's right. And I'm, you don't get to be here while we record. I'm gonna I'm gonna preface this for the show whenever it's I a preface a preface. Did I say preface? Yes, you did. <laughs> the the preface. Fuck? I'm gonna Dude, preface this. Your face is bad enough. You're fucking prefaces. <laughs> I am Holy prefacing. Shit. I am prefacing the shit out Came of this. Came in before you did. I want to preface this whenever I, I, this is this is something I legitimately want. And, and whenever uh, they introduce uh, Jeremy and Derek and myself for the live show, I want you motherfuckers to boo the shit out of me. I think that would be. Absolutely awesome. So we are gonna have walk up music, right? For fuck sure, yeah. Like individually. Uh huh. Sure. I want pyro. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you want fireworks uh, to go off? I'll too? bring I'll bring my lighter. I, I okay. believe that's what kind of what pyro is. Okay. Scotty, I all right, fine. Where did we miscommunicate? I don't know. I think it was when you asked me to be on this fucking podcast. Yeah, that's that the very was, first time. And I I mistakenly went, uh, I guess. Yeah, I'll do an episode. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Uh almost two hundred episodes later, you're still here. By almost 200, you mean like 125, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, but no, you can still get your tickets. Uh, the link is still at the very top of our Facebook page. Our, it's the link in our uh, Instagram and the link in our bio for TikTok. Um, and they are pre-select seating. So yeah. if you want to get up close and personal and smell what he smells like, yeah. uh, you know, get in there early. There's quite a few. Um, there, I think there's quite a few in the more in, in the back, but uh, we will obviously want to hang out with you guys after the show and say hi and do pictures. Yeah, like I, that. I plan to, unless things go really badly, to <laughs> shut the place down. I'll be yeah. there fucking hanging out all night. Yeah. But anyways. Uh, you can't. you got to go. i got to go. Uh, but thank you guys so much. We sincerely do appreciate everything that you guys do for us. Um, and as we always say, guys, if uh, you like us, do us a favor and tell your friends. But if you don't like us... I hope somebody blindfolds you, kidnaps you, and drops you off at the nearest nude beach. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't like us... Tell your enemies. And until next time... It's the snack that smiles back. <laughs> until next time... Keep laughing, assholes. We will see y'all later. Take care. Take care.